Hello everyone and welcome to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne livestream. I am totally surrounded by cords and wires here and I sound totally different because I'm wearing a headset now. So everything sounds all muffled and weird when I talk into the microphone. So today we're doing something totally different. Uh, I've wanted to try this for a while. We just haven't, I guess I just haven't given it a go. <laughs> Basically I have my headset on and I can talk to you guys in a party chat on Xbox, which means we can host a party chat and actually hold a live conversation. Now, if you guys are interested in doing this, all you have to do is let me know that you want into the party and we can start talking about, I guess, whatever you want to talk about. I'll have to manually let you into the party. It's not going to be anyone. Uh, and uh, that's to ensure that people don't just run in and say something really offensive or like start blaring crazy sounds. So I actually have to invite you into the party. Uh, other than that, we will just do whatever you guys want to do during this live stream. This is mostly just an experiment to try having guests on. That's mostly what this is. And it's very, <laughs> it's very low tech because I don't have, uh, well, basically I'm allowing you guys to just join through the Xbox live party. I think you guys will be able to hear it because of the settings I have uh, where the sound of your voice should be coming through my television. Uh, and that's it. It's very low tech. I don't have an actual rig or anything for people to actually come here and be a guest. Uh, but yeah, this is an experiment because maybe in the future we will have a guest or two just for fun so that we can talk about geopolitics. <laughs> Use Lance in this stream. Oh my god. So uh, one of the things I released today is finally my weapon class tier list. This is a tier list. Basically, it's a tier list review. The tier list was compiled on uh, the Psykin website. And I was simply reviewing it and uh, maybe revealing the ranks of the weapons, how they perform in speedruns. And the Lance was all the way at the bottom, <clears throat> which I was not surprised by even a little bit. Hello, Mr. Economist. I have small pee, -pee says Hypotrain, the Russian one. Dr. Economist, help me. I'm a Lance main and I need help. <laughs> Tigrix del Norte. Inviting probably won't prevent stupid, but maybe your guests can be mature for a few minutes. Yeah, uh, well, we'll have to see. Because if, if somebody gives me in trouble, uh, especially if I don't know who they are, I might not invite them to the party. So if I know who you are, because we've been playing together for a while, it'll be an easy decision. But if I don't know who you are, and I invite you in, and I don't know, you immediately cause trouble, I guess I'll just blacklist you or something from being in a party chat ever again. You know, somebody will eventually do it, but uh, we'll we'll kick them out of the party. Fayed says, I think the hammer rank is broken. It's above Insect Glaive. I suspect it's broken as well. I think probably the list needs to be refreshed or something and reposted to the website. See, I don't know how it exactly works. I don't know if it, like, dynamically updates or if he needs to manually update it on his end as the numbers change. Mark says, why don't you do bowgun guides anymore? You are my go-to bowgun guy. Uh, I do lots of bowgun guides. Uh, I should probably make one for the aqua shot. Mostly it's because I've been very busy. Hope your guest is a screaming child. It could be. Could actually be a screaming child. You never know. But let's see. We have... Who do we have here? So first of all, there's there's definitely room to join. We have Bjorn, Codename, Terraboy, and Zypora. Uh, so I guess what I'll do... Can we invite them? Chat privately. <laughs> I like how it warns you. So I'm going to start handing out party invites. Well, that's very loud. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Uh, I'm a little nervous because you're awesome, but sorry. Oh, it's okay. I was pretty nervous the first time I started uh, live streaming, so it's pretty natural. I wouldn't really overthink it. Uh, I guess what we need to do is find out if people can actually hear us. That's what we need to find out. Can people hear us both talking, or can they only hear me at this point? How's it going, yeah. Fayed? And, and I apologize. What'll happen is you will sometimes hear me talk to the chat, the, the uh, text chat, and oh. you'll, sometimes I'll be talking to people in the actual party. God Terror Boy says, can I join and just listen? You could probably do that. Oh my gosh, I, I heard my voice through it and I, I'm so cringy. 
you're you're overthinking it. the uh, The trick is to not think about yourself, and to just kind of uh, enjoy what's going around. Because if you're if you focus too much on yourself, that's when it that's when it becomes like frustrating. Loud and clear. Yeah. All right, sweet. So we will just start inviting people from the session. Let's see. Wellix joined. Did I invite? Oh no, I don't know All who right. I've in, I don't know who I've invited. Have I invited Hunter? Oh, whoops. I guess I'll just start going down the list and re-inviting everyone. Maybe I should wait till it's full before I invite people because I, I will forget very quickly. Maybe. That might be a good idea. That little bad. View gamer card. Oh, he's got a gear locust. Is that Rom? Big fan of hey. gears. Hello, how's it going? Hey, hey guys. Hair, boy. I'm a card. huge fan from the Netherlands, so... From the it's Netherlands? Nice to finally talk to you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Netherlands are awesome. I know, oh. right? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> These headphones are so bad. I need, like, a new pair of headphones. Invite to party. I haven't used these for, like, a year. When I do my live streams, I don't wear a headset at all, and I uh, these are just such low quality headphones. I got them from Walmart. What a mistake! Uh, sometimes Walmart you get good stuff from Walmart. Like I'm wearing a shirt that I got from Walmart. Oh, well, someone got from Walmart. Well, not in this case. Good. These these headphones are <laughs> yeah, garbage. Sorry about that. <laughs> They're pretty bad. All right, so uh, we've got a decent number of people in here. Did more people join? We got Wellix, Bjorn, Codename, Terrorboy, Huron, Zypora, Shanks. Did we invite Shanks? I don't think we did. Nick? I also don't know if we invited Nick. Let me get Nick. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? How's hey. it going? Hey. Oh, pretty good. I'm All right, are you guys, here. Are you guys oh ready God. to debate politics and religion? Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> here we go. Together. I'm a Christian who accepts everybody, so whatever. <laughs> Smoke and Daganja. Okay, I'm gonna read the I'm gonna read the chat for a moment, guys. So let's see what people are saying. Okay, God Terror Boy says reinvite me. I already talked with TGC. Y'all late to the party. Can I join you on the stream of Snipe? How can I get better at fighting with the Lance? I really suck and always played. Uh, the trick is to not use the Lance. Trevin says cool. Smoke Daganja. My headphones are from Walmart. They're pretty decent. Will says with the Lance you have to always be attacking and know the monster's moves. Uh, step one, pull your Lance out. Step two. Put it back away. Step three, grab the hammer. Will Schmuck says, guard dashing is important. <laughs> Rhythm of the Night says, Kyoshia used the guard dash while moving. Okay, so I've read all the chat. I think in order to do this, I'm going to have to not read the chat so much because it's hard for me to do that and talk to you guys at the same time. Uh, and I, I guess oops, so. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I, I do want to be able to talk cool. to you guys. So let's see if we have more people to invite. No, not yet. So what do you guys want to do today? You, We could fight Safi Poopy. We could do... Other event I am quests? so sorry. We could fight Extreme Behemoth? We could do anything. This is a experimental live stream. Uh, the point of it is just to practice having people on and talking. Um, I already have everything from Safi Jiva, so I don't mind. You guys can choose something. Yeah, see, I'm the I, same way. I've not really fully experienced Safi Jiva. Kind Safi of all the weapon combination stuff. I have basically the Switch X I am using, and that's all I have. <laughs> all right, so let's do a round of Safajiva. Here, I'll go ahead and... Okay. I have, okay. Lots, of, I have lots of the weapons. I just don't have enough to actually mob them and upgrade them. Or, like, upgrade them. Who, who is that speaking, by the way? What's your, game or or what's your hunter name? The guy who says uh. he still needs to fight Safajiva. Oh, it's me, Z Zypora. Zypora. Okay, so we're going to save a spot for Zypora then. Alright, I'm okay. going to go ahead and post. I actually know somebody who wants some help. See, normally I don't know who needs help, and I think everyone just races to get in. Mostly, I guess. What yeah. weapon should we use? I should use... Uh, did you get in? Nope. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh. Hold on, let me pick a weapon and then I'll... I'm really slow. I'll give somebody the booty. The booty cheeks. Oh no. Swiggity swiggity. I'm coming for that booty. Here uh, we go. 
Uh, unless that's not appropriate to say, I'm sorry. How could you say that? That's so inappropriate. Uh, it looks like Bjorn was <laughs> Bjorn was the last one in. Sorry, Bjorn. Nah, no problem. I'm All right, so last spot is reserved for Zypora, because uh, he needs oh to fight gosh, Safi Poopy. Hey, you got it. And I'm gonna yeah, go I, I, I suck at menus. <laughs> Nick oh, says, I, I never received the invite. Hmm. Let me see if I can invite Nick. Is Gobble Gobble different from... All right, view players. Gamer card, invite to a party. There you go. TDS, Nick TDS, how's it going, Nick TDS? Is that Nick Team Darkside? All right. Sure, I'll use the layered armor. Atsui says, "Who are we hearing and why?" Oh dear. Today we're letting people in the session actually speak in the live stream. This is an experimental live stream to have guests on just for fun. <coughs> I'm dying over here. Uh, and yeah, so oh. we're just going to see where it goes. Hey, chat. How's everybody in the chat? Nobody answer him. <laughs> okay. So, you guys are finally on a live stream chat with me. What would you want to talk about? Uh. I know you probably saved a list of things you'd love to talk about. I, wa I wanted to yell was up, but I know you did wouldn't want me to do that, so no. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> Let's hear uh, a little bit about you guys. You guys know probably a lot about me at this point because I'm always talking about myself. Uh, uh, well, yeah. How about you guys? Um, I'm not... Oh, Bjorn, go first. <laughs> um, well, I live in the Netherlands. I'm a bit addicted to Monster Hunter, and I guess that's mostly it. I'm not a very interesting <laughs> person. <laughs> me neither, but at least, at least you're in the Netherlands. I think that, especially the younger you are, the more time you need to uh, have interesting things happen in your life. So, you know, if you're if you're still under the age of like 20 and you're playing games, there's not much to say. It's kind of like when you're in college and you're, you're just graduating. Oh, I think there was a donation. Uh, you know, you're, you're just graduating and you have to write a uh, oh, resume no. now and you have no work experience. And you're just like, um, I did volunteer work, I swear. But it, it's actually not very impressive, is it? <laughs> so, who else? I, I'd love to hear oh, a little is, bit more is, about is, you guys. Is the game volume coming through my mic? I'm really concerned now. No, I can't hear anything. Okay. By the way, thank you so much, Wellix, for the donation. <laughs> oh, let me unhide the snack fund. Alright, there we go. I, uh... <laughs> Who else? I literally just saw someone in the chat go, what's up? And I'm like, oh no, it started. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an AA meeting. <laughs> All right, guys, time to start the 12 step program. I totally forgot to, <laughs> to, to not put, put away my useless stuff, but oh well, I'm sorry. I am a maniac. So who else, where are you guys from? Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go Lions. Okay, that's cool. That's uh, two um, out of. Hit. Oh, go ahead. Uh, okay. I guess I could. I guess I should give a little bit more about myself, huh? Yeah. Tell us your whole life story. This is your chance. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not even kidding. This is your chance to tell everyone everything. Oh dear. Let's see. You can say, you can say as much is, as you want. This is pretty Ow. much. This is pretty much all that I play between right now is Monster Hunter. Okay. Um, outside of you, too many outside of you that I watch, and you, I guess you could say I watch all your videos almost re religiously and try to copy your bills to the T. Whoa. <laughs> That's funny because I'm just over here, like in my underwear, putting the bill together, eating popcorn. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Two I'm like, TMI. Huh, I should, well, that's kind of how it all works out. I just kind of, I don't really take time off. I don't really have Saturday and Sunday off necessarily. You know, even though I say I, I take the day off, I'm actually usually working on those days. And, uh, you know, I just kind of sit around in my home working all day and I don't really think about the impact I have so much on other people. I just enjoy making the videos. So later on, I hear somebody say something Best like that, like, to do it. 
yeah, like, oh, yeah, I like to use your video uh, bills. I was like, really? People actually use these. It's, it's kind of like that. Yeah, it was a... Uh, you helped me out transition it to, transition it to the bow guns. I was struggling trying to figure out how to put a bow gun. Oh, yeah. Before it came out. Same here. Bow guns are really and weird. Yeah, they're weird because they're nothing like I the melee weapons. It was with the... Because I was only using uh, the long sword. It was when Devil Joy had just came out. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that's how long I've, I've been playing it for. Playing this for a good <laughs> little while, and was trying to figure out a change over because I'm a divi uh, I I come from playing division. Oh, okay. So I wanted something that made me it made me feel comfortable and felt like I was still playing in division. That makes sense. And when, one of your builds, the Devil Joe build, popped up with a heavy bow gun, and I said, huh, I'm going to try it out just to see if I like it. <laughs> the cluster bomb bow gun build? <laughs> yeah. I remember there was a point yeah. where I wanted to learn the heavy bow gun because it reminded me of the lance, and back then I was using the lance a lot of all weapons, uh, which I make fun of it a lot recently. Uh, but that's the truth, because I learned that the heavy bow gun does a shield, and I'm like, that's cool, I'm going to learn the heavy bow gun. And then eventually I discover that the heavy bow gun has this whole kind of like cluster cheese i'm like what the you know because it's nothing is it's stronger than pretty well I, I won't say stronger but it's almost the strongest never thing seen in the that game before. what the cluster spam no the what what safi just did did the, like a nerd gigante jumping thing oh did he <laughs> scared the living daylights out of me <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i found out about the cluster bombs i was like what the because i've been using the lance the whole time and it wasn't nearly as strong so that was really interesting, and that's pretty much when I started falling in love with the heavy bowgun. I guess being powerful is a selling point, right? Just pretty much. That and able to have Except a shield. Except for the fact that... Sorry. I, that saves me a lot, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm taking oh. up talk time. No no need to apologize <laughs> to each other. Just uh, Actually, it's, it's faster to just kind of talk over each other, and uh, if you realize you're talking over someone, you can just... So, you know, if you, if you apologize, if you think about it, you spend even more time not talking because you're apologizing think about that uh, uh yeah, i guess this I'm is a... all the little meta stuff i think about when it comes to live streaming see when you're a live streamer you do a lot of thinking about how you're performing how you're entertaining a lot of little stuff yeah it's, it's fun to share it with you guys so uh okay so you're in detroit and you play monster hunter give us some more crazy details we want to hear about your dramatic life are you a hoarder <laughs> no i don't think so i'm a. Uh... I put together. I don't know. I put together gunplay. Gunplay every now and then when I'm. How much? When I'm tired of when I, nothing. When, when nothing comes out for us, Monster Hunter. How much gold and silver do you have? Stacked up in your home, buried in your backyard. I, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I kid you not. I over the last Ow. over the last few days, I've probably watched about a hundred videos on collecting uh, gold and silver. I've been learning everything about it. It's a really interesting subject, uh, and uh, it's interesting because it's sort of related to something I've been getting into recently, and that's collecting uh, Pokemon cards of all things, like uh, you know, like you would as a kid. But uh, but there's actually a bunch of big boy money involved in Pokemon cards, and uh, yeah, a lot of the ideas behind collecting cards is just quite similar to how you would collect gold and silver, except gold and silver is more of a generic thing that uh, the central banks actually do it. So that's one of the selling points for me. I didn't know this, but the central banks actually have huge reserves of gold and silver because they they do that to... Silver uh, and gold. I know, silver, silver and gold. And gold. <laughs> so yeah, so now I'm thinking I should have some silver and gold. Sorry. I might have I might have ordered some silver and gold. I don't know. I'll have to show you guys later. Well, no, I haven't ordered any gold. I'll be upfront about that. But yeah, it's a very interesting right. subject. Uh, who else? So... Uh, uh, Okay, so, so me, I guess. Sure, let's hear some juicy Go details. Uh, where Nobody... do you want to start? Because my life's been a mess for about 10 years, and I'm 21. That's perfect. Let's tell start us... at the beginning of those 10 tell years. Us, tell us the worst parts of the mess. That's what everyone clicks on. That's what everyone wants Ow. to know. Well, my first, the first worst part was I just ran into a Safi beam. Safi Gina? But, uh, Safi other than that... Other than that, well, recently I've lost all my. Within the last three years, I've lost all my grandparents. Oh, that uh -oh. sucks. No. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. And my my not blood uncle has been diagnosed with dementia, that so sucks. that's great. <sighs> uh, a few years back, uh, 
my cousin got leukemia and recently he had a widow maker <laughs> and he made it through that sucks yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that's a particular um, procedure say what uh, what's a widow maker um it's a something to do with the heart I forget yeah, like what it's installed exactly, or something but there's there's a reason it's called the widow maker today okay so lots and of health problems. But lots of health problems, which is really sad, actually. Yeah. I hate that kind of stuff. Thinking about having to deal with it myself someday. Actually, I think mm. you guys knew this. My uh, my mother-in-law just came back from India for having like a year's worth of cancer treatment, and she's told that the cancer's receded. Uh, but she, yeah, she had like stage four cancer for something like, I think it was lymphoma. I think that was the name of it. I think it was Ligma. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ligma balls. So, uh, okay, cool. Okay, maybe I'm a little inappropriate. Where, where, uh, okay, where are you from? Thing. I am from Appalachia, Ohio. So I am Ohio. as uh, hillbilly as you can get without being an actual hillbilly. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you said Appalachia, Ohio. I'm trying to remember how that musical song goes. Uh, the one they play in the theaters. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember the tune. Okay, I so you're from Ohio. Either, probably because I never heard it. <laughs> Tell us your dreams and aspirations. What do you hope to be someday? Maybe a voice actor. I don't know. A voice actor. Maybe. Maybe. Sounds like fun. Well, I, I hear it's a really well, difficult job. I never job, really actually. had confidence until I just heard the stream, and my voice does not sound as bad as I think it does. So. All right, everyone in the that, I, everyone in the chat room, say mean things to him to put him back down. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, please. <laughs> He's too okay. confident. I make, He's too I make confident, guys. I make a lot guys. of funny things. I show a lot of funny things happening in Halo and on uh, Halo and Monster Hunter. It's just on my Xbox thing. I yeah, share it with Xbox Live. If a you don't show it on TikTok, happens. what are you doing with your life? You got to be on TikTok. Well, now. I don't know thing. how to get there, and also I only have a somewhat account that's actually not this account. Well, you it's gotta kind of rewind the clock. Oberon. You need to be 14 years ago, uh, 14 years old again, and then you need to open a TikTok account and be like, "Hey everyone, I, I like Pokemon cards like that." See? Yeah, Easy. I do not like Pokemon. <laughs> oh, listen to this guy! I do not like Pokemon. I I right. only like Umbreon. That's um, pretty much it. What? Because he reminds me of Oberon, the name. But other than that, I prefer Monster Hunter. Because Monster Hunter is like better, to in my eyes. Well, that's true. Monster Hunter is actually better. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, more like Pokemon Poopy and Pee Pee. Uh, we're taking oh, away the dear. Pokedex. Be oh, what's Poor he doing? Terror boy. Uh, is do he I still have... alive? Yes, I do. Oh, oh he, no! he he did uh, wind pressure on me. He did wind pressure uh, on me. I couldn't eat it. I'm I sorry, Terror boy. And I was too slow. I am so sorry, Terror boy. I am I am ashamed. Is this the new <laughs> Joe Rogan says symphonia? Oh, yep, no. that's right. We're gonna have uh, Bernie Sanders on in a day. Did you guys oh, hear yes. that? Uh, <laughs> did you hear uh, uh, Joe Rogan actually Bernie endorsed Sanders, Bernie the Sanders? Only Democrat, I can actually kind of stand. Yeah, so Joe Rogan endorsed him, and then as soon as Joe Rogan endorsed him, I think Bernie Sanders like advertised it. Is that right? That he got an endorsement from Joe Rogan? His team did. It's really interesting. I'm ready to have a presidential candidate on our live stream, guys. Yeah. We're going to talk about... I'm a Trump supporter, though, so I think I'm going to be really... Trump! I think people are going to hate me. Build the wall! <laughs> I, got a, uh, I got a wall yeah. of Pokemon cards. Nice. Vote <laughs> kick, says Arson. Build the wall, wall of Pokemon cards. Yep, that's right. Anyway, well, that's, that's actually nice true. Because if you... I have ADD. <laughs> That's actually true. I have a huge wall of Pokemon cards. I'm not even exaggerating. It's probably worth about three thousand dollars, sitting on a table, oh, getting ready nice. to be shipped. Ooh, Pokemon! Gotta spend all your money. Anyway, my tragic life story that keeps on getting worse. My mom's had multiple surgeries. That's been great. Um, my dad. Oh, they've also both my parents have had their gallbladders out. So I don't think I'm gonna make it or my brother. Gallbladders. Oh, my gallbladders. Okay. And and I got punched in the face. 
I fell off a deck once and knocked over a, a grill. That was pretty fun. A grill? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Grills, grills. Oh, okay. So, uh... Okay, cool. Well, uh, maybe we should let someone else go, too, now. So you're from okay, Ohio. So sorry. We got Detroit. <laughs> we got the Netherlands. Uh, where else? Who else is in the party with the microphone? Anyone else, or is it just the four Anyone of us? Anyone else? I'm waiting for somebody to go, uh, over here! <laughs> um, actually, over here. <laughs> over here. I so let's see if we can high. invite some extra people in. Here's Enzu. View this player's game card. Alright, there's an invitation to Enzu. Here's Jessica. Did you know I had a sister named Jessica? Invite... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Invite... I feel like I sh I, I, I want to say yes, but I don't remember. <laughs> no, I've never revealed that before. Here's okay. Alza. Yeah, I haven't seen my siblings in forever. I guess I was crazy then. Invite to a party. Detroit for sexiest man. What? This man's probably just nervous. What? I mean, it's awesome <laughs> that there is the whole fan's interaction stuff, but that guy telling his life story. I had my gallbladder removed. It's pretty common surgery. Is it really? I don't want a gallbladder surgery. It is. What's the gallbladder? The I'm gallbladder the thing that so. helps you uh, go pee pee. The gallbladder is next to the. Uh, I'm trying to come up with Liver? something stupid. I was going to say, uh, what's what's that po body part from the fish? Uh, it inflates it in order to swim. There's a there's a term oh, for that. Oh, oh, that part. Oh, okay. I was going to I was the, going the to make floaty, a joke. It fell the floaty, apart. Uh, <laughs> floaty, floaty, woody, woody, beady. Yeah, I get it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Terraboid blade blade blah, oh. they blade it up. Oh. Who else is in the party and wants to say hi? And I, I imagine we have somebody else with the microphone, right? Hello. Hey. How's it going? Oh, hello. Hey. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm good. Yeah. I almost died because I was stupid. Oh, Welcome to our AA meetings. Dying. Hello. Welcome to our AA meetings for former Lance players. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does I've never touched to Lance in this game in my life. Use so. Lance? Ow. So, yeah, I've been off Lance for about six oh, months. Dead. I've been off Lance for. <laughs> when did you decide. I've you... been off Gun Lance for a month or two. When did you decide a... that the Lance was wrong for you? When did you reach that point in your life? That you hit rock bottom, you were using the lance, you're just guarding everything, and then you realized you weren't doing any damage. When did it happen for Monster you? Monster Hunter uh, to Freedom. <laughs> Monster that was, Hunter World. That was when, yeah, Monster Hunter That's World. when I knew the lance was not for me because then the gun lance was actually better. Oh yeah, I need to do some practice with the gun lance and the insect blade apparently. Oh, let me up! I'm trying to heal! <laughs> Monster Hunter World in an arena quest trying to get the hero coins. Oh yeah, that must be frustrating. Oh, God. Because the build's not help. even good at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm farming Diablos for the gold crowns. Was I not supposed to do that? I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I don't think I was supposed to do that. The goal right now is to break as many of his parts as possible before he leaves. So the best places to aim are his chest, his tail, and his head, especially when his chest is glowing. You don't really go after his chest. Like right now? Glowing. Yeah, right now. Everyone should be attacking the chest as much as possible to get the uh, chest break. This is really important uh -huh. for getting more rewards. Yeah, a hammer yours could really easily get the chest broken, even before it glows, if you have enough people on it. Ah, uh, well then I guess I'm not good. <laughs> also, when you deal enough damage Same. to it, he'll fall over just like regular Zenajiva. Who's ready for Fatalis? Well, we oh. don't know if we'll get Fatalis. Well, we probably will. We'll probably get some kind of a dragon. Maybe a new one. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like we don't have enough difficult <laughs> fights right now. I wish we had some really tough ones. Yeah, I want an extreme behemoth. Like yeah, an exactly. even worse one. I really, yeah, exactly. I really don't like that. But that's just me. I'm not, I'm <laughs> no. not a guy who likes those stupidly tough fights. 
You're not uh -oh. the only one. I, uh -oh. I have not beaten extreme uh, behemoth. Mm -mm. Uh, I can't see a thing. <laughs> oh my god, thank okay. goodness. Terrible, 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 terrible. He's still alive. I thought Ow. he was off. Holy. I'd holy rather fight holy. for. I'd rather fight for Talus, and I've never fought for Talus. I've just heard the people talk about it. This is actually my first time playing Monster Hunt. Having Monster Hunt. I gotcha. But that, is greatest... Talus isn't really a hard fight in previous games, from what I know. Nah, he was just a giant uh, hit hitbox with a lot of uh, health. Sounds like Except a his good tail time. would one shot you. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. So basically yeah. every monster and master, you basically every monster and master ring just above. No, 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 no. You do not understand. Fatalis is crazy. Anyway, hi Enzu, how are you doing today? I've already asked Good. that. Ah, son of a... <laughs> so we should pick a uh, fun topic to talk about. What what topic would you guys like to talk about? David, I'm trying to get this slinger. Pot What's your on guy's it? favorite weapons or monsters? That's the most if common question. Monster. Everyone's talked about it like a million times. It's the most well, I common question. I don't like Dalu because he kicked my rear end once. Oops, I really no, want just to just there. make like a pair of dual blades as actual clubs. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. Cool. Apparently you can actually sleep him. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. One time. yeah. Pretty easy. Yeah. Like six bow gun shells could do it. See, yeah, trust me. I know. I know very well. You can oh no. Sleep. Anyway, my favorite monster in world right now, I would. Uh, I don't know. Folger Anginath. Folger Anginath. He's pretty great. Oh, there goes the tail. Oh, I got the tail! Yeah. Or at least. Let's uh, focus on the chest. Hitting it too. Let's focus so, on the yay. chest next. We'll get the chest broken. Whee. Or I think I think he's gonna leave in five seconds. Well, there's still a little bit of time left. No, somebody's oh gonna be leaving soon. Favorite monster? Hmm. Oh, whatever monster again. that I go to the Garden Lands that'll give me a, a great spirit, uh, you know. Favorite monster. So, uh, so basically, every single Elder Dragon and Tempered Rajang and Tempered Devil Joe. I've got, I've gotten so since I've been doing the uh the the guiding lands I've only gotten three oh so far. <laughs> There'll be a I don't... quest in February that will give those like an event quest. I thought so. Thank you. I thought so. I, pour I thought through. it was coming today, this week, at this event. I thought it was coming. Uh, I don't. I think it's not really with an event, but it just comes like a weekly thing really? uh, uh, it's in the roadmap okay so i did i did uh, see that when i was looking at that i, I thought i did and when this event came when this event appeared i looked I, I was sitting there scrolling through it and i'm like oh i guess we don't have one of those in this one i guess i was wrong i haven't touched guiding lanes in like three months we need a topic. If we talk about Monster Hunter during a Monster Hunter live stream, then we're doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Twitter. Let's see what's trending yeah, that on Twitter. Makes way too much sense. Trending on Twitter. Number one, Jamaica. What? <laughs> a tsunami threat has been issued for Caribbean islands after a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake strikes off Jamaica. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh well. Wow. Uh oh. Oh wow. That row. Oof. Hopefully they don't have any nuclear reactors. All right, let's get another run going. Wait, does I pour withdraw? Does that mean that he didn't get any of the benefits of it? I've been waiting for you. Somebody left before they. Ooh, uh, that's, that's so bad. <laughs> that sucks for him. I think that is I pour or withdrew or something. He must have disconnected. Oh, Topic no. number two trending: uh, Pokemon Home. Let's see what what this is all about. Pokemon Home is uh, a thing where you could bring previous Pokemon from your previous games into Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, but it costs money. But it's money. a subscription. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> Who's okay. your favorite Pokemon? Um, 
That's a great question. I like Ratata. Let's see what I else. Love Sekrom. Sekrom is my favorite. Trending in, in entertainment. Add a word, ruin a book. Oh, that's boring. Wow, Twitter, be more exciting. Kobe Bryant yeah, has Twitter. passed away. That's very sad. John Bolton must testify. Oh, the whole Trump put him in a peach. Oh, God. You know it's bad when it's boring. If it's boring, it's bad. Put him in a peach. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what's going on in the actual news news, not just Twitter. Here, let's go to CNN. They're a source of beacon of truth. Trump's defense finishes opening arguments. What? I don't care. Uh, breaking tsunami threat heading over to the Jamaican coast. Oh, there's the whole coronavirus. So how much would you guys pay for a cure? We kind of talked about coronavirus <laughs> already, didn't we? Um, 50 cents. Well, all the money I could uh, afford. If I can save a family member with any account of money, I'll just pay it. Connecticut father suspected True. of wife's death in apparent suicide bid. What? All female flogging force formed to punish violators of Sharia law? What the? What's that? <laughs> I'm sorry. A female flogging okay. unit. Flogging is like is beating. So a female flogging unit has been introduced. Oh, hold on, let me pause this. In Indonesia's Asa, Aka province to dole out public whippings against women found violating the region's Sharia law. Oh, my lord. Oh, wow. Public that flogging is that's used that's against... That's not family friendly. That's not family friendly. What the... <laughs> Meow. Eric? Oh, man. Alrighty, dude. Bring back the beatings. Oh, and thank you for Let's... anyone who paid with a gourmet voucher. Gourmet voucher. That's so gourmet. Beatings. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think if we had public beatings, maybe... As a society, we would be, maybe our, our criminals would be a little more civilized. Do you think it would work? Is no. what I'm asking. No, Probably I don't not. think it will happen. I think the public will just get even worse. And why is that? I, I, um, because, well, I don't think people would like it. I don't think people are that violent. Wow, I can't believe you would judge their, oh, I'm going to, oh, I'm still alive. I thought I was oh, about to God. die there. Why would you judge life their culture? Powder. Oh, I just wasted life powder. Yeah, I don't know if it would work. You know what's funny though? Uh, so, we hear about public floggings in another country. Like, oh man, you gotta follow the Sharia law or we're gonna publicly flog you. And you kind of cringe, you're like, really? But then, when it comes to like child rearing, we're like, yeah, definitely beat that child. Isn't that interesting? Here's an interesting question. What age do you have to reach before being like whipped? you know, it's no longer acceptable socially. It's kind of an interesting question, uh, right? I don't think you could ever be whipped. I don't think physical violence will solve anything. Well, uh, you know, a lot of parents still use physical violence to, to uh, discipline their children, right? And you get uh, people that say, oh, you know, whipping's harmless. You get other people that are like, oh, whipping, you know, we've, uh, there's studies that say if you hit your kids, your kid has a smaller brain, that kind of stuff. So, that's a, that's a real thing. Your, your brain, your child will have like less gray matter. I don't, I can't remember what the term was. If you, if after being punished physically throughout their life, but it's a it's a very interesting topic. So when we hear about adults being whipped, it's like super cringe, right? But then if it's if it's being done to children, we're just like, yeah, that's cool. We want you to hit your kid, right? Because your kid's annoying. Is is really interesting, is it? It's hypocritical a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't know about that. You and what? You guys haven't been whipped? No, I'm I'm saying I have. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know about that. I've not been whipped since like I was five. So. Yo, what is with that? Why is it we decide if a child is young enough, they're whippable, but when they get older, they're no longer whippable? That's a really I interesting thing. I think it's thing. more that the parents change their minds. I don't think it's more because of the child, but it's more because of the parents. Well, not mine. My parents had, uh, so I'm from a family of 11 children. They whipped children the whole way. The thing is, you got old enough that they didn't want to whip you anymore. 
Really interesting, right? It's like you became an adult and it became taboo. It's yes, pretty strange. You could retaliate. You probably could know. retaliate. That's true. Um, but it, it perhaps it's, a, it's a, an issue that we don't really see children the way we see ourselves. They're not equals or something. So it makes it okay to whip them. Kind of the same way we just kind of, we eat animals, right? Everyone's like, oh, the vegans are like, you can't eat animals. Uh, but why not? Why can't you eat them? You eat animals to survive, I mean. No, not necessarily. Not In the future, we could actually probably live off of not eating animals. We just like to eat them. Uh, and so the vegans are like, that's not right. They're living creatures. They have feelings, right? That's what they say. And then we say, shut up. And then we have a hamburger. But if you actually approach it as a philosophical <laughs> argument, what is it that actually makes animals okay to kill and eat? Um, maybe because other animals do it. And maybe we have some kind of primal instinct to do it as well. Well, that's, that's, a, that's an explanation. That's an explanation. Because it's not, we, we, you need we an take their parts and make clothes. But what I'm asking you guys to do is make a moral argument for why it's okay to eat animals, kill and eat animals. What's the moral argument? Oh, okay, you said moral. I was going to come back with. I was going to say because I guess it tastes good because they taste good. They're tasty. I mean, <laughs> there's you really go for the chest. It's hard. Boys. Everyone go for the chest. Yeah. Yeah. So like, they're tasty, yeah, but I mean, but what's the moral argument for killing animals? Because the vegans are all into this kind of stuff. They they've been thinking about this for a while, and they're like, "You're all ignorant swine, killing the poor pigs, and pigs are as smart as dogs." and you Why guys would wouldn't... you call someone a swine? Because uh, it 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 it's, it's language. It feeds into what I was about to say about killing pigs. It sounds good. <laughs> swine pig, see? <laughs> You're the animal. Oh, 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 oh. Did I? Nope, I didn't escape uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. There goes everyone. God, I hate that move. But yeah, what what do you guys think? What is the moral argument for killing animals? Um, Maybe because we have done it for so many years. Uh-oh. I uh -oh. think that would be a very weak argument for most people. Well, that's what we've always done. <laughs> so, personally, I think that since no one's thought of what happens if we don't kill them to eat them, and we just let them live their lives like we live ours, that maybe, I don't know, um, they wouldn't, they wouldn't live their lives like through and through, I guess. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand. What are you trying to say? So, Maybe are you give are, them more? Are, are you for killing them? Make their you, life better. Yeah. Are you, no. Like I'm saying, let them live their lives. Let them be able to live instead of us killing them. Okay. You know, what if I don't another think animal kills have them? Have thought about that. Well. My question is, what makes it okay to live another human creature? Human, uh, not human, another living creature. There we go. <laughs> Cannibalism. Well, you could you could make the argument too for abortion. People, a lot of people are very pro-abortion, and some people on the fringe of the pro-choice movement, they're okay with abortion after birth, as long as you have enough. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't think. Could That's you call abortion? Yeah. Well, some people call would call it abortion. murder. Well, famously yeah. last year, famously. A United States senator talked about having an abortion after the baby's born. Yeah, that was that's a United States abortion. senator. Yeah, I know. A lot of people were very offended that's about it. That's just killing a baby. Uh, that's exactly right. It is probably just killing a baby, but he's going to make the case that it isn't. And then you have to be able to argue against him. He's going to make the argument that it's, it's her choice or whatever, right? Oh, nice job. Nice one. That's a knockdown. Uh, but yeah, oh, I so I, I, haven't, I haven't, I haven't heard any really strong arguments about uh, what's the difference between killing a human and an animal. It's, it's very hard. They're both um, living. Because... They're both alive, right? So what is it that yeah. you're protecting? Is it life, or is it a particular kind of life? It's probably a particular kind of life because insects. Uh, we don't really think as insects as really kind of like living, living things. Because if a mosquito is annoying you. Most people would probably kill it or swat it away. Right. But you wouldn't really... do that with uh, a cat that maybe attacks you or something. Right. And, and Probably because we know that cats have feelings. Right. So then is it just the capacity to have feelings that makes something 
that you have to keep it alive because that's actually a really like let's say um oh hold on let's say you had somebody who is uh mentally handicapped and they couldn't experience the same feelings as you would that justify maybe killing them I would think not, because they're still a human being, and human beings have rights, like how Yeah, but what is a rights. human being is... Th th what is a human being? See, that's the problem with this. We're defining what animals are, which is very similar to what defining a human being is, because right now we're trying to justify killing animals. That's what we're trying to do. Um, a human being is someone of the species named Homo sapiens. <laughs> I think from the broadest definition you could say that. Right, but that, that wouldn't help you determine whether or not you can, you know, kill and eat an animal. See what I'm saying? Hmm. So so what is it that makes it okay to do that to animals, uh, but not to humans? It's a really interesting question, isn't it? I think mostly because they're the same as us. We can really easily set ourselves in their feet. I don't know how you say it in English. Like, you can, you can empathize with them. Well, you can empathize with a lot of things. You can even empathize with things that aren't appropriate. Uh, Stockholm Syndrome, for example, right? Stockholm Syndrome is yeah. when you get kidnapped and fall in love with your kidnapper or whatever. So empathy is not really a good measure of things either, in my opinion. Like, oh, that makes me feel bad. That doesn't matter if it makes you feel bad. We need some, we need some moral axioms. Moral axioms. And those are like, uh, almost like self-evident truths that tell you this is a good thing, that's a bad thing, and you basically you just have to believe that it's true. One of the interesting things about reality is you often can't really determine if something's real. I mean, you can imagine in a very pragmatic way that it's real or true, but you never really know. That's the whole like, oh, we could be living in a simulation kind of thing, right? It's a simulation. Yeah. We're in the matrix already. Elon Musk. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Okay, dust of life. I'm bringing him to the explosion gas. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 he's, oh, oh. He's like, nah, I ain't going. Dust blackout once in the party. <laughs> what an explosion. So beautiful. Now we gotta kill. Look at this dragon. He's, he's an intel. Would you guys say he's intelligent and he has feelings? Yeah, probably. Wow, we're just committing I mean, murder then. He I feel like he actually should have it. been like a black dragon. Like, the teaser, so... Well, that's because they're going to make him a black dragon later when they make him arch-tempered. He's going to be arch-tempered Poofy Jiva, and all of our work here is going to be meaningless. <laughs> if that happens, I would not even be surprised. That's like what they do. Head partly Wait, broken. I got him! What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Most of the weapons. master rank armor, I can't wait for it to be layered. <laughs> yeah. Bamboo armor, I'm looking at you. So, are you all vegan now? Did I? Uh, are, are you guys all gonna stop killing the animals, eating the meat? Well, I don't oh, know. No, it's staring no. at the uh, USA, but I'm mostly mm -hmm. just want to buy meat that I know the animals haven't been have been treated humanely. Like nicely, not just in a why does that where why does that matter? Why does that matter? Like, are you saying that uh, there's some sort of value on the animal life that they must be treated humanely? See, that's one of the interesting topics, so. actually. Oh, so if you can say that the animal should be treated humanely, how can you justify murdering it at all? Well, oh, um... tricky question. Ooh, tricky. That question. is a tricky question. Well, it's still. Uh, I guess because animals eat each other, and we need animals to survive, but in the future, we... I think 100% in the future, we don't really need animals to survive. We could probably grow lab meat. Yeah, there are some tests right now for our lab meat. Sure, I yeah, so. I've heard about that. I don't know if I'll eat it. It scares me. <laughs> um, Why would it scare you? <laughs> Well, a lot of the man-made products that we have often give you cancer, it turns out. Like, for example, hand soap gives you cancer, if you didn't know that. Uh, the soap we use to, to wash clothing, it's got carcinogens in it. And you wash your clothing with it, and then you wear it. Uh, hot dogs uh, and pretty much all salted meats, those are all cancerous. Uh, you know, a lot of our vices that we enjoy, soda, alcohol, cookies, they're all cancerous. So imagining this 
grown in some sort of chemical lab piece of meat. It just doesn't sound as appealing. It sounds dangerous. And I never know how much you can trust a, a huge industry that's invested billions of dollars into a product to tell the full truth about how healthy their product is. Oh, yeah, you could eat this. It's totally not cancerous. Well, it's a minimal amount of cancer. That's what they will say. <laughs> you wouldn't even notice it. <laughs> yeah, but I guess everything causes cancer eventually. That's true. Even the sun causes cancer, but you don't want to do things that accelerate it. So if you have two choices, eating a healthy rabbit or a rabbit leg that was grown in a lab that gives you cancer, which one are you going to choose? Oh, it's the healthy rabbit leg. And then you're going to be like, sorry, rabbit, I'm going to need to eat your leg because I like the taste of meat. <laughs> but getting back to that, that difficult question. So humans in developed worlds, I think the majority population will agree, oh, animals shouldn't uh, live in pain before we kill them to eat them. But I would say the question then is if you can acknowledge that they have some sort of uh, – human-like quality of being alive and deserving of not not experiencing pain then why are you reaching the conclusion that you have a right to kill them and this is this is the same logical conclusion that a lot of vegans reached before they became vegans they're like huh i don't think i have a right to do that to other living creatures right but then is the question is what you is it's a it's a very important question because it gets to the core of what it means to have value in human life if we can kill animals, can we kill human life? And why not? If somebody's going to say why not, some people will say, yes, you can. Oh, it's an interesting hmm. subject. We're all going, hmm. And then we're all pulling at the tufts of hair on our chinny chin chins. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Let's see what people in the chat are saying. Shift said, would you argue to hurt them beforehand or not? I'm oops, gosh, my computer. Okay, there we go. We're back. Make them suffer in hell before consuming their flesh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, all right. Then. But okay. it's a very important question because often when we're talking about producing meat, uh, the way that you can keep the meat fresh maybe is by keeping the animal alive longer while you're cutting the meat out for example. So there's all these questions about how much money can the company make uh, in order to keep the animal comfortable while we're butchering it. All kinds of questions like that. Uh, there's actual money involved with answering the question. Let's see what else people are saying. Nicholas says, everything experienced pain, but we are the apex predator. That's why we must kill them. Nicholas is the <laughs> apex predator. That's right. He's alpha male, ladies. Wellick says, this is a topic I've been involved with a lot. Stream won't load. Wish my internet wasn't crappy. I blame Obama. All depends on the value of said living organism. Really, but what does that mean? Value. So, Zora Crumb says it all depends on the value of the said living organism. And this is actually what the conversation leads to. There's going to be this uh, conditions, conditional value on each living creature. And we say, oh, well, humans have... Oh, is it... Oh, somebody's... I can hear myself. I can hear myself. Uh, Somebody yes. is going to say they have... I can also hear you twice. Yeah. Is it somebody's microphone? Let's see. Uh, I don't... I, I don't oh, think it's mine. Microphone here. It, it's probably coming through your TV. You might have to turn your TV down, unfortunately. Also, we I, have I don't have any here. volume on the game itself. It, it must My be TV is bust. Let's see if Dust is not here. So it comes down to... There's Wellix. I haven't, I haven't invited I him. I still hear you. Twice. Yeah, it's coming through somebody's microphone. There we go. All right. We sent an invite to Wellix. I don't see Dest, by the way. There's Terra Boy. Weird. Hello? Hey, how's it going, hey. Wellix? Hello. So, yeah, it comes down to a question of conditional values, outward values on the living thing that you're talking about. So, and this is a, exactly where the abortion debate inevitably leads to. People will say, that's not a human. We can kill it. Even though it's alive, we all know it's alive. We know it's growing into a human. They say it's not yet a human, and therefore we can kill it. Similarly, it's funny, a lot of vegans are probably on the left, but uh, the way they would want to protect human uh, animal life is ironic because they, they make that case, that conditional case 
for excusing the abortion, right? So when you get, get over to the animals, you have to make a case, well, they don't have value, that's why we're allowed to kill them and eat them. It would be very easy for conservatives to make this case. And Democrats should actually agree with them, but they don't agree with them. They're often like, we gotta save the animals. Also, all these babies, <coughs> frick those babies. Those babies dead now. So it's one of those uh, it's one of those hypocritical moments that I find really interesting. So, yeah, we do do. Basically, it's kind of just people trying to say their trying to say their standard of what morality actually is. That their standard of morality is what actually matters. It's a bunch of people yeah. who want to do things and then they they rationalize what they're doing without actually understanding some of the philosophical arguments behind it some of the actual arguments behind it. So if it's very convenient for you to have an abortion right now, then yeah, you're going to believe all the pro-abortion arguments. And uh, at some point in life, maybe you get older and you're like, uh, is that really good? And then you can question it a little bit and go, oh, maybe I'm, I don't believe the things I used to believe. It's funny because these sort of beliefs allow you to be so violent so quickly, right? Like let's suppose for a minute that there's some sort of... Uh, order to the universe and animal life is actually equal to human life, let's suppose that was true for a moment, then we would just be mass murderers. We'd be crazy. We'd be crazy mass murderers, all of us. It just redefines, you know, our behaviors and our actions morally. Similarly is true for uh, the developing fetus. So if we were able to determine that a developing fetus is in fact a human, which is where all of the argument is, most of the argument is on personhood. Well, if it turned out that the fetus was a person, we would just be mass murderers. It, it was crazy how many, you know, abortions have been had. If it turns out that they're not persons, right, they, they haven't reached personhood, they just have the potential for personhood, then we haven't done anything wrong. See, so it's, it's really, really kind of a crazy thing to think about because the difference between those two, we know one of them's true, right? We know one of them's true, we just don't really have any way to determine which one is actually accurate. That's why you get a bunch of well, people... Well, then you gotta look at... Go ahead. Then you look at a lot of the arguments they bring up. A lot of the times they're bringing up the convenience of not having a child. So they justify allowing abortion out of convenience, and then they make it sound moral. Well, yeah, okay, you're, you're saying what I was saying. Their convenience. You're saying what I was saying earlier. Uh, often we pick what we already believe, and then we rationalize our position. Uh, but if you if you're taking a look at it from a, a fair point of view, the problem is we really don't know if humans are valuable. Number one, and number two, we really don't know what constitutes personhood or an outward conditional value that says you can't kill this thing. See what I'm saying? So we don't actually know where that is. And maybe it occurs when the child is capable of taking care of itself, right? So if a, if a mom wants to kill the baby after the baby has been born. Maybe that's her right. That's what some people will actually argue. They'll say, yeah, she should be allowed to kill the baby after it's born. Baby's totally dependent on her, parasite. That's what some people will say, right? It's not even a, it's not even a human yet, or something like that. Th that's how their argument will go. And a lot of people will kind of be like, you're crazy, right? But the problem, again, comes down to we don't really know when personhood starts or what even it is. Are we, you know, we could, uh, if everyone subjectively agreed that we could kill babies after they were born, it would become law, and then you could just go do it. That would be all there is to it. That's it. You could just go for it. Babies out That's of here. That's kind of the backbone of society. It is. It's a, it's a very interesting issue. Yeah. Let's read a few of the comments. So. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Give me that knowledge. Arson says they should make the people getting an abortion to eat the babies leftover like in the wild. When a mother baby dies, they eat it. Cheat us. Uh, actually, a lot of animals eat their babies. That is actually a, yeah, uh, hamsters accurate. do that. It's so gross. Where's my shamos? What a shamos. Are we talking moral code or society norm of abortion killing animals? We're talking about why your name is Bosco because that is a weird name. God Terror Boy says don't kill the meat them. Jerry says who the frick is making that argument? Rhythm of the Night says, is it fetuses or feti? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oberon says, the fetus is a tumor. Chris says, eat the rich. <laughs> Humans only care about a group of people. If a loved one dies, you'll grieve their death. Other people dying outside of your circle and it doesn't affect you. Yeah, I actually, that's a very interesting subject. What do you guys think of that? 
Uh, because I'm asking you, have you more guys of an about... emotional bond to people close to you. You spend more time with them. Well, yeah. You, so that's an explanation. You have memories with them. That's an explanation, but is that okay? Is the question. Is it okay for us to be that way? Should humans actually have to care about everybody on every continent equally, right? So this is a, such an interesting subject because just recently, Kobe Bryant and his daughter passed away. Uh, and we all got really sad really fast because we all know him, right? He left an impact on us. But there's lots of other people that died that day, including other people in the helicopter, but just tons of people who died that day. I mean, every single day, uh, a number of people die from old age, from injury, from murder, actually, uh, from car crashes. So every day, a bunch of people die. But because we care particularly more about him, he gets all of the attention and we care more about it. Is that okay? Ooh. See, that also brings back to the old, how the, going back to like abortion. Because when you look at it, you learn to care about your independent family group. Then you can also bring it down to when you're growing up as a kid, most parents tell, your kid, tell you don't talk to strangers. So it kind of sets that precedence of having that distance between people you don't know. Yeah, because people always try to protect things that are close to them, like their family members. Right, but is that a flaw? Should we care equally I think about... it's a flaw. You, should we care equally about everyone across the planet? Like imagine, this is like, you know, New World Order stuff, like globalism. Should we care equally about people in, uh, I don't know, name all of the, name all the continents. Should we care equally about them? Or should we care about the people strictly in our continent? For example, right? Like, so I'm from the United States. Should I prioritize people in the United States over people from other countries? I, yeah. I think you should prioritize yourself, your close family members, and then try to get as many people in that circle as you can. Try to help as many people as you can, but if you can't, it's not really your fault. You tried your best. Right, well, I, I we're I not trying it, to place blame. The question... Your... Go ahead. Go the ahead. Yeah, I've kind of... I see it. Is if you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to be able to help other people? Well, I mean, if you look at the wealth in America, of course you can care. so in America, you can pretty reasonably earn like forty to fifty thousand dollars a year in the middle class. You you have all kinds of social programs. You've got your your lifespan is expected to be like I don't remember what the number is, like seventy two years old or something like that. And then there's an actual country called Chad where your yearly income is I can't remember is it like four hundred dollars for the whole year. Uh, and you have on average like eight kids and your lifespan is about 40 years Which is crazy because that's like what we had in the 1800s and so it's not a question of oh I don't know if we can help them. Oh, we definitely could help them It would be easy to help them like because that's how far ahead we are. The question is whether we should have to What do you guys think you're over here playing video games? You don't need your video games You sell all your video games and help uh, the people the poor people in chat Sell all your video games. What else don't you need? You don't need your nice shoes. You don't need your nice watch. You don't need your iPhone. You really don't actually need those things. We could definitely help people in really, really poor countries. There's some really poor places in the Philippine Islands. I'm actually, right, I got a relative. Uh, my grandma, she's, she's Filipino. I should have to uh, take care of those people, right? But we don't. And why is that? And is that okay, I guess, is the, again, the question we're asking here. We definitely have the means. It's not a question of, well, we can't help them until we help ourselves. No, we're like so fat from all the wealth we have. We're like dying from our own wealth. We're super fat. Everyone's got obesity. Everyone's got things, uh, you know, you, you're buying like your second car. <laughs> you got countries where people don't even have a car. They just got like a scooter or a bike. Yeah, we got more than we need. We just don't feel like helping them because we like being, I don't know, wealthy. Get out of here, Zanogar. What I do you guess guys think? Because it's difficult think to help would... other people. See, that Maybe. Right there, well, yeah, I'd kind of see that, like having the commodity, the comforts. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what you grow up with. So, that, like, yeah, we live here in the U.S., and there's many countries where a lot of people don't have a whole lot. But then it kind of breaks it down into the whole, well, if you have this and they don't, 
and the way you try to moralize it on, well, if you gave up all of this and gave them all of that, it kind of comes back to spreading the wealth, which leads to everybody being poor and miserable. It's wealth redistribution, and wealth redistribution doesn't strictly not work. It, it, what actually the problem with wealth redistribution is when it's too much. Uh, but here's what's interesting. Here in America, you got a lot of people saying, oh my God, we got to have wealth redistribution. But you know, if you wanted to be really actually more because you know a lot of the democrats they use very moralistic language like uh you have a right you have a right to this you have a right to that and and they're using this to argue for why you should be given money from other people and uh when you look at people who actually need money is americans are very poor we got homeless in america but you look at the squalor some people live in in other countries and it's shocking it's a is so shocking it's hard to even imagine how shocking it is you have to like go onto youtube and you'll find these countries somebody's uh microphone is making a noise by the way it's like a buzz it's like a hum does someone just plug their mic in yeah, like I'm a charging station too. check it real fast i think uh, it's born I, I, yeah it's me probably <laughs> you got a wireless headphone uh, now better oh that's better yeah that's better okay so no, instead because of, i'm trying uh, to use a phone because oh, my I TV see. is busted. Oh, I see. So uh, instead of helping people in America, we could be taking all of our money and sending it to actually poor places where they have not even enough food. They can't even eat, you know? So they're starving to death, their children are starving to death, and they live in absolute squalor. That would be moral of us to do that, wouldn't it? That would be more moral than for us to just spend the money on ourselves, even with wealth redistribution. So if you want to talk about... Uh, the morality of wealth redistribution, you would start with the poorest people, not in your country, but in the world. And we don't talk about that. What do you think so the minimum is a person actually needs? The minimum? Like a need for everyone to be happy. Oh, to be happy? Uh, well, you gotta have a home, yeah. you gotta have food. food. water, shelter. Yeah, food, water, shelter, all pretty standard. And then... Well, our standards are really high in the West because we see everyone around us living great lives and having so much. So we expect healthcare, mm -hmm. we expect certain electronics, uh, internet. Uh, you know, Bernie Sanders the other day, he said internet is a, uh, it's actually a human right. I was like, all right, Bernie. <laughs> I don't think I was born that way. I don't think anything in nature is born that way, but now it's a right because you said so. Uh, and everyone else will pay for it or whatever, right? So uh, it's, it's a very interesting subject and we're talking about the whole issue of realizing that uh, humans are selfish within their own group. It's kind of a tribal thing, right? It's a tribal thing. We, ch yeah. we choose people in our own country and, before we choose people in other countries. And this and is it the also would come down, come down to like a self-preservation as well. Well, because is, if you don't well, feel like you're going to get something in back... It's, it's, in this case, it's not self-preservation. Like I was saying before, in America, we have an obesity epidemic because of how wealthy we are. So it's actually not a problem of whether we can afford it. It's whether we want to afford it. Similarly with redistributing wealth to the poor right now, we actually... Yeah, we could afford to go into debt and pay for everyone's health care. We just don't want to because it changes like what how wealthy you can be yourself. It changes it. And uh, we don't want to, uh, well, I don't want to be poor because I'm paying crazy taxes for the rest of my life. In America, you can still get wealthy. Uh, because yeah, you don't it, have to pay crazy crazy taxes and the jobs pay well. It's change. People are scared of change. A lot of this is because people don't want things to change. Uh, and what do you mean by that? <laughs> um... Because I think 100% of the people who are listening to this conversation would agree that they won't give up their phone for somebody else. <laughs> like, just yeah. give it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was talking to my wife about this the other day. She's like, man, our, our parents and our grandparents had it so much easier, right? Because everything was cheaper, and it was cheaper. But not only that, our grandparents didn't pay $60 a month for internet. They didn't buy a $1,000 smartphone. That's a lot of money. They didn't pay for a cell phone bill. So when you start subtracting all the things you spend money on that our parents never, per our grandparents never purchased, you start to realize you can't really afford to have children in 2020 just because there's so many other things to buy that never really existed, right? There's so many goods now that everyone has to have. You didn't have a Netflix subscription, that didn't exist. You didn't have big flat screen televisions. Uh, you didn't have, you know, supercars. You just had these little stupid cars that you died in. 
you know, think about all the technology in cars today. There's so many computers in one car, and you pay for it. You pay for the cost of all that. Oh, let's move out of the way here. Population was smaller. Uh, and, and, and yeah, so what we, she and I did, actually, we sat down and we calculated the cost of uh, Xbox Live and buying a game every couple months and owning a console and buying a new console every couple years and owning a cell phone, a new one each year, and the cell phone bill and the internet bill and the Netflix subscription and the, you know, the Disney subscription now. There's a Disney subscription. We did the math on it, and it was shocking yeah. how much it comes out to be. We're like, whoa, this is why no one's having kids. Because if you want to have all the toys, you can't afford the kids. And our grandparents didn't have a choice. There were no toys for them to buy. They bought, like, what? Probably a tiny little home. By the way, houses in the past were smaller. Houses today are the part of the reason why they're so expensive is because they're actually also larger than they used to be. We make them much larger than we used to. So we make bigger houses now. And, yeah, there's just so much crap. And you couldn't buy any of that back then. And that's why. And you had nothing else to do. Like, so you'd be standing there staring at the wall after work like all right honey what are we gonna do now i guess have sex right because what else there's nothing else to do go to the go outside hang out with friends fresh air actually uh and then have sex and have kids because there's you can't play games you're not gonna be playing monster hunter look at this this is like crack cocaine basically this game i guess a lot of people that in the past uh stick a lot of time in the work and getting more of wealth but the houses here in the Netherlands are pretty small. They're all closed up because a lot of people live in the Netherlands, even though it's a tiny country. That's it. You convinced me. I'm moving to the Netherlands. Yeah, come here. <laughs> How much taxes do you guys pay? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm still 16. You don't know how much taxes uh, you pay? That's like the most critical information. It is actually. Yeah, darn it. The first thing they should teach you in school is how much taxes you pay to the government. That should be the first thing they teach you, how much money the government takes from you. It would change your perspective on life. Silence. Mm, so. Because <laughs> it's just somebody taking your money. That's all it is. If someone takes your money and they spend it for you, that's what it is. But they don't, of course they don't teach you that. Because who pays for the teachers? The government. Who pays for the teachers? The government pays for the teachers. They don't teach you how the tax system works. They don't teach you how your country prints money. They don't teach you inflation. They wait till you're like 25 years old and you get a decent job and you're already too invested in your own country. You're like, ah. Well, you don't even figure it out when you're 25. You figure it out when you're 60 and you have no retirement. You're like, where'd all my money go? Well, if you added all the taxes you paid up over the course of your life, you gave it all to the government. <laughs> you, don't, you can't afford a retirement. You gave it to the government. And the government now gets to give you a small, tiny little pension that they've determined is appropriate for you and tell you that they're bankrupt and have no money because, well, in America, our government doesn't handle money very well, apparently, which is why we're in epic debt. Epic, amazing debt. And they always need more money. Yeah, I've heard, how does the debt, uh, debt work, work there? I guess I've heard you guys have a lot of debt. Debt. Yeah, listen, this is such a fun topic for me. I could talk about this all day. Let's talk about how much debt America is in so we can all feel more nervous Too because much. we should yeah. be feeling nervous. When when the politicians are like, yeah, we can go into $32 trillion of debt for free health care for all. Free health care for all. $32 trillion of debt. Did you hear that part? Let's see how much debt we're already in. America's debt Isn't it to like GDP. something trillion ratio. All right. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, first, I'm going to give you the the debt to uh, GDP ratio. So, the, in 2018, it was 106. I wonder if I could get a more recent. There must be a more recent measurement. Is there not a 2019 measurement or 2020? I think it's a bit early for 2020. In 2019, the U.S. debt-to-GDP ratio was 105%, which means that basically we have more debt than we earn in a year, to put that simply for those of you who don't understand that. So that's like if you earned $40,000 a year, but you were $45,000 in debt. Uh, it, you know, I guess it's not as scary when you hear it in that terms, but in this case, it's going to be trillions of dollars. So we have $23 trillion of debt in America. That's debt that we pay interest on. 
Uh, and so we just pay interest out to other countries to let us borrow money to spend th uh, to spend on things we can't afford. Let's see this comment. Ping Mar Marcy says, The Game Economist is 100% an anarcho-primitivist. What? <laughs> Don't even know what that means. That's a new one. Moat knew it. Moat says we have 106% debt to GDP, I think. So America officially has more debt than GDP. It's really shocking. Most countries are not like that. Let's check out the Netherlands. What about Yay. Netherlands? Netherlands debt to G... Oops, GDP. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump my mic. 52%. See, that's not so bad. 52. America, 105%. 52% is probably manageable. Uh, let's see what your total debt is. Nobody talks about this stuff. They're all like, oh, let me tell you what you're going to get for free. That's what we talk about in America. Your debt is going down, it looks like. Yeah, looks like your debt is projected to go down. And in 2019, it was, what is this number in billions? $435 billion. Uh, billions. Euros. Or is it in I'm sorry, dollars? probably euros. No, that's in US dollars. It's, been, okay. it, it's in US dollars. So $435 billion. Compare that to $23 trillion trillion what is one trillion it's 999 billion you know and one right we have 23 of those you have 435 billion and a 50 percent gdp ratio so much easier it just shows you the wow. scale of overspending that america does is really shocking and nobody everyone's just like yeah we deserve to spend even more we deserve it it's like giving somebody who has a shopping disorder a credit card oh man they definitely should have the platinum credit card they definitely should have it <laughs> it's like no stop <laughs> take it away from them quick before we're completely broke <laughs> uh, but let's take a look at the uh, taxes in the Netherlands maybe it's actually pretty nice well the government here uh, I'd say is uh, really good with money sure sure they they don't well, spend it on crazy it, stuff. Well, hold on. It might, it might also help if uh, they take all your money. So let's find out how much they... <laughs> let's find <laughs> out what your tax brackets are. Because, you know, if America taxed us at 60%, then yeah, maybe our tax burden would be falling down. Well, not our burden, our, our national national debt. Okay. Tax rate in Netherlands 2019. This is the topic everyone likes to talk about. Taxable income. If you earn more than 68,000 euro, you're taxed at 52%. Wow. You lose. Ooh. So if you get a decent job in the Netherlands, you pay half of your income to the government. Now, hold on. A lot of people misunderstand this part. What they don't realize, that's the, uh, that's the income tax. Then there's the tax where every time you buy a good, you also pay taxes, which drives it higher. A lot of places have like a property tax. They have a variety of vice taxes where the government charges companies that sell you things you want, like, I don't know, like a smoke or something. Uh, there's often a fuel tax. Uh, so your, your total taxes is actually higher than 52%. It actually might be closer to about 60%, maybe even higher. I don't know everything about Netherlands, right? I don't know what kind of sales tax you guys actually run. So your real taxes is probably closer to about 62%. Yikes. Ouch. Yeah, you don't earn anything then. How are you supposed to... Re and the government basically decides, well, here's your health care, here's your retirement. Uh, but it's two very different ways of living. Uh, in one case, you can make the choices that are smartest for you uh, and competitive in, in America and save your money and, and be really careful with your own money. In the second case, the Netherlands decides for you. And maybe the Netherlands government's really good at it. I don't know. Would I want America's government to decide those things for me? I have no faith in the American Probably government. Not. Probably not. Because we're already $23 trillion in debt. And we have more debt than GDP. And then we have people going around saying, yeah, I'm going to buy you everything. We're going to be like Europe. Well, Europe's also kind of stagnant. Their economy is struggling to grow right now. That's a, that's a fact. It's one of the reasons why everyone's speculating if the economy is about to kind of do a nosedive. 
they're all speculate speculating that we're going to hit a recession very soon and part of that is because uh, a lot of major european countries like germany uh, the uk which has just gone under you know its whole brexit and all that but you know germany hasn't uh, there's they have stagnating growth it's so bad in germany they have negative interest rates uh, which basically what that means is a bank is punished for not making a loan so they they're like please make a loan with us take our money that's how bad they need it over there to, uh, to try and stimulate the economy they'll run negative interest rates and nobody really knows what will come out of that but you know a lot of speculation is that it'll be negative if it doesn't work it's going to be really bad basically then so another thing i've noticed when people compare the united states economy to other countries is a lot of times they'll compare countries with a smaller population sure and sure. compare that exactly. to the united states to where they say oh well this smaller country they can afford their um, national health care free health care for everybody yeah because they look at it on a smaller scale and they're like well why don't we just make it this way oh well, yeah and uh the reason that matters basically oh you know when people say something like that oh america has a much greater population than this small scandinavian country why does that matter basically you're stating one thing maybe the people in america are dumber that's basically what you're saying because you know when you do when you actually reach the conclusion of why that statement matters it's not just you know if if the if the system is working in scandinavia and then they became huge and had more people it would still work but the question is uh, maybe the people, the Scandinavian people there are actually just smarter. Nobody really ever, you know, ever actually uh, considers that. Not everyone's equally intelligent. Some people are dumber than others. Uh, and maybe the people in America are actually quite dumb. Uh, people don't talk about that because it's rude. But it's, it's, it's a very interesting thing to ask yourself. Maybe people in the Scandinavian countries are real smart. Right? What is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's talking to someone else. <laughs> Mom, I'm one! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying it to Barioth. I didn't know if it was going to hit the wall. Oh, oh, Barioth. Oh, oh, gotcha. I thought you were talking to somebody in your room. Uh, but yeah, so that's one of the things we don't talk about. We know from our own education system that not everyone is equally intelligent. Right? There's guys who are going to make you look like a big baby when it comes to math. There's people who... Uh, it, 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 same for like physics or science and the, the economies right now are all demanding engineers and technology and medicine so being intelligent matters a lot for your country's ability to sell a product so saying oh man we got a lot of workers and it's like yeah they're in walmart we got a lot of people at walmart that's not actual exporting you're not exporting a good anywhere if you got a job at walmart so when people say something along the lines of more people is better for your economy that's not necessarily true that's not necessarily true. Like, it might be good for the people who are already powerful in that country, right? Because those people, they're the ones who own Walmart, and then they give you a Walmart job, and you make them immensely wealthy. But when you're talking about the wealth of your, your country, the wealth of your nation, in order for a country to become wealthy, it has to export a good. And uh, this is when the country actually earns money, because basically what you're doing is you're taking money from another country by selling to it. Uh, and you will hope that you export more than you import. That's how you become wealthy, right? Really, really important yeah. here. Uh, and that, that can include like actually investing in other countries. So if, if I'm an American investor and I invest in China correctly, well, the capital gains from that investment go into my pocket and I live in America. So that's a really tricky form of having an export, right? Uh, but I just wanted to explain that real fast. So anyways, yeah. my point is, if you have a bunch of people in America working at Walmart because that's all their, I don't know, that's all their skill set allows them to do, you can't then compare yourself to another country where most of the people aren't working at Walmart. You can't do that. So the comparison actually does come down to the quality of the labor market in your actual country. You got too many people who don't offer valuable skills. Well, when you don't have a lot of people offering valuable skills, you can't say, oh yeah, they all deserve to have all this money spent on them because they don't actually generate the money to uh, the money necessary to pay for that social welfare program, right? So you're either talking about a net loss or a net gain when you're talking about a social program. In order for a social program to be a still a net gain, 
it would have to offer enough benefit to the people that is paid for and the effect of the social program actually made that person more productive. So everything is really just about productivity, right? Productivity is where you make a product and sell that product. So here's, now that I've said a whole bunch of rambly stuff, let's, let's kind of break it down real fast. Let's say you have a thousand people in America. One of them is a scientist and the other 999 work at Walmart. And then in the Netherlands, you don't have anyone working at Walmart, but you have four scientists. Which country is able to afford the welfare programs? Oh, it turns out the four scientists in the Netherlands are able to afford it. And America isn't able to afford it because there's all these people working at Walmart. And every time you do a welfare program for those people, they don't actually justify the cost on it because they don't pay enough taxes because they don't earn enough because their job skill isn't actually that valuable. Putting bread on a shelf, come on, it's, it's actually, it, you know, obviously it pays, but it, it, it's, not a, it's not a very important skill and it doesn't get exported to another country. So it's no, really not that valuable. You know, I want my bread. <laughs> yeah, I want my bread too. Give me, give me my <laughs> motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding. But, but you see what I'm saying, right? Whoa, so uh, it's not an export. It's not an export. A, four scientists will be able to export a scientific discovery. Maybe a new product, maybe a new technology, maybe a new whatever. Oh, right? nice. But the guy who puts bread on the shelf at Walmart, and actually it's a vendor who puts the bread at, I know this because I was a vendor when I was younger. I was a Coca-Cola vendor, so I knew those guys. So it's, it's not even Walmart workers. They're private vendors for the bread companies. How much to pay well, you? Actually, pretty well, actually, if you get in with the vendor. But uh, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Walmart probably has its own private bread. and So it probably does do some of its own bread on They're the shelf. Private. Walmart brand bread. You know, right. Walmart brand bread, for example. Um, but yeah, so you, you get the idea. You get a 999 Walmart workers exporting nothing to other countries, and you get one scientist amongst them, and he is actually exporting something. And now we need to try and offer the same quality of welfare that uh, the country with four scientists but no Walmart workers has. It's not possible. It's, it's just not going to happen. The money's not there. And you look at America, and it has $23 trillion of debt, and all they talk about is how much more money they want to spend. The GDP to debt ratio is 105%. And it's, it's almost like it's just people who are bad with money, which actually makes a lot of sense. Because if the people in your country are bad with money, <coughs> they're going to vote for politicians who are bad with money. That's exactly what will happen. It's actually a scary proposition, guys, because when your country goes bankrupt, that's when you go to that's when you go to war. That's when you actually start doing some really bad stuff. You have, you have a rise in nationalism, and then you go to war. That's what happens when your country you should goes just bankrupt. Run for president. I'm running for uh, GE for president. Doctor Economist. Doctor Economist. I'll be the economist. Real <laughs> Dr. simple. Economist 2020. 2020. Real everybody. Real simple. You can't spend money on. Uh, you can't spend money on something that isn't a good investment. That's the bottom line. Real easy. So Monster Hunter. So Monster Hunter. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, Japan. I. Uh, it's like just. I mean, go to Japan. I did. I did. I mention to you guys. I sold off my stocks. I had. Uh, I had quite a stocks. few stocks in Capcom, and I made six hundred dollars total. And I just sold them off, and I'm just going to kind of be watching the market. But actually, I might take that money and invest it in Pokemon cards. Wow. Oh, wow. Ge not. Ge not gonna, not gonna get updates for free. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So how long is this? Oh, we've been going on for only an hour and a half. Wow. It uh, time really flies man, oh. when, when we're talking. Yeah. Well, you should do more of these streams. These streams are actually pretty fun. Oh, the guest, uh, the yeah. guest yeah. streams. Oh, yeah. well, let's see if we can bring another person into the room. Oh, <laughs> uh, Terra boy, Terra, you get your ass in here. I thought Terra already wasn't here. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. So we got Enzu, Terra boy. That's There's me. Dest. Should we invite Dest? I'm right here. Oh wait, Dest is already in. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. Unsolved, by the way. Whoa. Oh, he's right there. I'm sorry. I don't know your voice. I only just heard your voice for the first time. I don't know who yeah, you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My voice is squeaking. Oh my god, mom. Mommy, I'm I'm live, very, mom. You should be grateful. He's providing. This doctor here is providing free health care for you. You know, uh, when we talk in the chat rooms in Discord, one of my favorite things to ask people is to make a confession. So uh, we do like confessions in the Discord chat. So what if we do that right now? You guys want to confess yeah, yeah, live 370 uh, people? Fun. Let's hear a confession. Sure, Who's fun. got a juicy confession? That. Didn't we used to do that back in the day? We used to do that. What kind of confessions? Just something uh, it was, it was called juicy. Called Just church. something juicy. 
Uh, some guy tried it. I remember some one con time. Con confess Stop. something yeah, about yourself that is very juicy. Um, my All feet. right, so. Um, okay. Hey, I want to join in. Oh. I should post a quest. Hold on. Let's post a quest. So if I had to post a quest, we could do the Safi Poopy Siege. Hmm. Safi Do you want to do it again? I'm kind of tired of him. Uh, I'm, I'm worried they're going to make him arch-tempered, and all this is going to be super irrelevant, like, in a week. So, don't say uh, well, Here, uh, I have an idea for a quest. I Let's have a strong see, uh, feeling. Um, Let's do a quest like, where I can get in. <laughs> Yo, let's do AT Zora. Hell yeah. Wait, you're right. Actually, do we I have mean, some cool high rank I can post an investigation. What did you say, GE? I was gonna say we can do extreme behemoth. I didn't even think about it till just now. Yeah, go for let's it. Do it. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. Oh hell. Yo, yeah. Let's go. Let's go after these. Yeah, but boys. Love this guy. Who has a juicy Mwah! confession? Juicy no, confession. Uh, no, I didn't make them. Frick, kick someone. I play hunting horn. Uh, let me oh, think. Frick. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Should I play hunting horn? You know what? I'm gonna play hunting horn right now. Someone plays horn. Ah, I'm gonna. I can play every single weapon. Four horns versus dream behemoth. Yo, we, what is this? Some TDS. We run? need a juicy mwah, confession about something in your life that you would never tell oh, anyone. Sorry. You would never tell a single soul. I know. You would never tell a single soul, but now that you're here with 350 people watching, you're definitely gonna say it. I want to know your deepest, darkest secrets that only you know, not even your girlfriend knows. What girlfriend? <laughs> uh, I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, stop bullying us. That's bullying, man. That's <laughs> man on sub. You guys don't have this bullying. You guys don't have. Oh, I thought my game was about to crash there. Man, these drop dropped frames here. No girlfriends. Did you tell her you had a Pokemon card collection yet? Oof. I ain't ready. If I you mean, don't, how are you gonna get? I got a, 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 a jet ski, but nah. Yeah, I got a jet ski, but nah. The Pokemon cards, nothing compared. Er, if if you don't mind. got that shiny know, Charizard, she doesn't want it. She doesn't want you. You gotta have. Oh, I'll, I'll show her uh, my shoot. shiny Charizard. Ladies go straight for the guy with the shiniest shiny Charizard. That's how it goes. They're like, oh, that that's shiny. It's a little bit true, though, isn't it? Women, uh, one of the biggest determining factors of how attractive you are. Yes, you have to look good, but also you kind of have to be a little bit wealthy. Women like wealthy men. How are you going to be wealthy if you're paying 62% taxes? <laughs> Facts. How are you going to be wealthy? How are you gonna well, if wealthy? everyone pays more taxes, every everything will be balanced. It's not like if uh, everyone is going to pay the same taxes or right. But you don't like want to be balanced. You want to be an alpha male, and then you're gonna go out and get three girlfriends. Of my hunting horn. You're gonna go get three girlfriends. How are you gonna? No, do I'm that? happy for my fellow that other human beings if they horn. get other people they love. Hell no! I'm stealing your right. girlfriend. I'm I mean, stealing everyone's girlfriend. Smash. I mean, yeah. Just gonna say, smash who you want to smash. Everyone knows that women want the shining steelix. Shiny hey, you guys steelix. didn't even no, wait for me to bluff everyone. Right on, 100%. Nobody wants Charizard, he's passed around. Charizard? Yeah, it's not like he has two Megas, a Gigantamax, etc. Sounds like Gigantamax. a whole bunch of compensation to stay viable. Here be Emoth. Oh god, I haven't fought him in such a long while. Wanna know who I haven't fought in a while? Who? Oh. Your mom. <laughs> well, uh, okay, wow. She's a lovely lady. What are you talking about? I see her on the stream right now. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have shoot. Uh, Mary, is that you? <laughs> is Mary your mom? Wow. Wow. That escalated quickly. That one came out of left field. I think I'm on the uh. bus. Stream behemoth is probably a lot easier because we have master ring gear. Oh, how did that not hit? I'm, and whoever I'm just, just said I, that cards first. I'm just waiting for someone to card. Looking at you, if anyone you're gonna wants card 100%. to, I have a uh, five box silver wrath. Oh, frick yeah! Ooh. Give me that. I'll join you. 
though. It's one faint, though. Uh, don't uh, worry, I got a cheer. I actually got, um... Go for insurance. safeguard. Uh, yeah, I got a I got safeguard, yeah. Okay, good. Ooh. Ooh. They got a uh, tag along also. Oh, Trying to grind out for thing. Handicraft 4. Mary is a behemoth. Oh, what? I have Bard Wing, so that. don't worry about your yeah. health too much. Oof. I mean, check my bird. Uh -oh. Fashion uh, build. Fashion uh, all the here. way. Alright, guys. Let's uh, hear let's hear your best pickup lines to get the ladies. Uh uh, uh shit, let me go with some. Oh, shoot. oh it's demonetized. Let's hear your best pickup lines. Let's say you had to convince a lady in the chat room right now to go out with you. What's your best pickup lines? Well Mary Mary's already going out with me. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt I doubt that actually. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, let me get this away from everyone else. Oh. Best pickup lines, yeah. go! Uh... Yeah, I don't have one. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, give me a second. Uh, are you playing <laughs> bow right now? Because you just pierced my heart. Oh, that's pretty good. This guy, why is he oh, still single? Okay, that's, right. This guy's on oh, the market, everyone. Good. He's on the I market. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Nice. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. That was good. Now you just set like the stage for all the other ones. <laughs> uh, <if> I was. <laughs> I, I got mine. If I was a Rathos, would you be my Rathian? Uh, it's okay. It's a little cheesy. It, I think the bow one caught me by surprise a little more than the Raytheon. Well, but you know, the other problem is sh she's not gonna know what a Raytheon is because she's she's gonna be well, like, well, she's like then you don't stream, her. so she probably knows about <laughs> Mountain Sensor. So, I mean, if she's in the the chat, I mean, she might know. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> hey, be my Raytheon. I don't know. I want you. I want you more than that last mantle. I need to complete my armor. <laughs> oh. oh <okay. laughs> You're more beautiful than a double attack decoration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bit. I, I don't think that's true, but okay. Yeah, I mean you can't you can't tell her a complete lie. She's not gonna believe it. <laughs> Obviously, that can't ever oh. be true. She's gonna be like, "You're faking it." <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Hell for everyone. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I think I just oh, broke man. his arm. I'm KO'd. I'm thinking. You make me horny uh -oh. than Nergigante. Okay, that's a pretty good one. No! <laughs> okay, there goes Matt. Well, I ate for safeguard, so. Hey. Let's get down there. Why do people think attack decorations are so good? See, I never actually thought they were that good. You guys know that. In the base game, I never used okay. them. Okay, okay, Capcom, Capcom, ban this. Ban them, ban them. In ban the em. base game, I didn't <laughs> well, use them. Well, to be them. honest, in Ice Run, it, it isn't really that powerful. I can make challenge sets with Editator 5, sexy. Attack 7, and all the other skills easily without any good is, or attack is, decorations. I can say is sexy, what the heck? Not gonna lie, I got like four vitality challenger jewels. Ah, uh, yeah, so I think I've got like eight of them. Ones I've been trying. Let's see. Look, wait a minute. Look, I have three double challenger. Uh, wait, I just noticed. Echoes, so that's pretty good. Um, we have four heavy users, so no, no slinger ammo. Well, you have this tail off. Can you, I mean, I can can get you wall ammo. bump him? Tie. Oh, I don't think it. you can. We got dual blades. Dual blades. Oh, I yeah, just that's noticed me. Out. I just yeah, noticed monster. I didn't see yeah. that. Does this monster. napkin smell like chloroform? Says Timothy. <laughs> You're too funny. Ouch. Did we all go? Oh, we all went wrong. Wrong. oh man, I wish I had uh, a lance. I, I'm thinking so of the strong. cringy pickup line. That's totally gonna get me kicked from the chat. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, oh my god, I rolled Something that involves handicraft. No, oh. come on. Oh, no. I'll mine you. 
<laughs> Everybody's just thinking of a pickup line right now. <laughs> Don't do it. That guy, that's actually a good one. Wouldn't to you want to paralyze him in stage four? It seems like you would want to paralyze. Oh, I wouldn't even ready for that. Hey girl, are you using a paralysis bowgun? Because you paralyzed me the first time I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to smack this guy. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Hey girl, are you a wiggler? Because I'd like to wiggle into you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, and he's off. Uh, this is what happened. I'm gonna go ahead and buff. Uh, are you oh, an endemic on. creature? Because I want to capture you for the rest of my life. Okay, that's actually that's that's okay. That's that's actually pretty good. TG, TG, your, let's not talk about monster. You're a gold crown yes, in my girl, book. you my Raytheon. Oh, oh, snap. Okay. oh, okay. This is just straight up bullying. How about this? Now he's gonna hold hey, it against. Ouch. Ouch! He's gonna hold it against. Got, me now. Every time I, got, I see him on Discord, he's gonna mention it. I got one. Hey he's girl, mention how about you? Chat. Hey girl, how about you and me, Farcast, out of here to get to know each other? Ooh, double stun. Farcast. That. That's hey, good. To a, hey, to a heavy bow user, a hey, far cast is life. <laughs> oh, uh, my character. I like to do the voice. And that's Ooh. one dead hunter. Yeah. Hey, baby, do you have a cold drink? Because I'm dying of the heat you're emanating. <laughs> oh, people, you guys are trying so <laughs> oh, hard. Oh, wow. People have <laughs> look, at, us. look at Chatswood. Look at Chatswood. Oh, strong you... smell of male virginity. Yeah, let Chat <laughs> make some. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous <laughs> of that one because I wish I could have got you a oh. I interrupted him. Thank you. Better run. Wait, why are there two? Are you why are there handler? two comments I'd like down? to throw you off the cliff. <laughs> you and me go together <laughs> as a great surf hit and uh, attack up large. No. I'm ready uh, to why? Up a little bit. Why did he be do my a serious double? Handler? Wait a second. I don't know. Get, jump, 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 guys. Is this boss? Wait, I don't have the. No! Are you uh, a Brachiosaurus? Uh -oh. I like to slime you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a DPS thingy. If you do too much DPS, we did too much. To we must have done too much, yeah. I saw it too. Oh, that sucks. You know what we should have done imagine when we not, saw that? Imagine not reaching the DPS limit. Look, when he when he brought in the second comet, every one of us should have far casted. We should have known what it meant. Because I saw it. I just didn't know. Yeah, I, didn't I know went that done to my far caster, but he already. I couldn't use it. Well, when he was dropping in the comet, that's when we should have all far casted. Not the. Not the. Uh, the. Uh, you know, the thing you get behind. No, you should just. Oh, yeah, he, casuals. he just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I want to see you here in the lobby, okay? Okay, let's go. Well, look, I'm in your hunt. I'll kill you, okay? Let's go. We, we're gonna yeah, have to do another run. Team. We're fight definitely me. Gonna yeah, fight me, kid. I'll make it. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, arm wrestle. Come arm wrestle me. Come arm wrestle me, okay? I'm waiting Come for you. Cart. Cart, Wellix. Just put on TOB plus gloves. You'll be fine. What? Those are your pickup lines? Single forever. <laughs> forever single. This is Valentine's Day. Hey, what is Valentine's Day? When is the Valentine's Day? Day? Florida for Valentine's. February 14th. You are correct. Uh, what are you guys getting me? For okay, okay, I got. Okay, me? I think I got one. Um, uh, go for it. Are you a? Okay, okay. I, I just fucked that up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think I have one. Me. I think I have one. Uh, you and I are an, as inevitable as a hunting horn and an attack up large song. No, you should have done Thanos. That would, that would have been way better. <laughs> that would have made way more sense. How's it going, David? He says, what is Game Economist playing on voice chat? That's what we're doing today. We're learning all about male virginity and bad pickup lines. <laughs> With your boy. With your Yay. boy. Blackout. <laughs> No need for cold drinks. After the, after the stream, G is going to demote me on Discord 100% bet. 
<laughs> oh yeah, and I'm still waiting for uh, for the armrest, okay? I'm waiting for you. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let me just finish this five box silver ass. New role in the Discord, unfrickable. <laughs> yo, 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 give me that. Hit me up with that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a man's weapon, says Knight. I I probably had a few people unsub to me after oh, this God. title. I said for beta hunters and lands. No, remember mains. that one guy who went on a comment rant in your comment section on that I, one live stream because I don't remember him. it. But I I do know somebody like in the live chat. They're like unsubbed in, in capital letters, and I think they were serious. Yeah, people get offended very quickly. They're like, God, fuck this okay. guy. <clears throat> uh, I'm waiting here at the barrel. I'm just doing some emotes. Yeah, no, I yeah, I'm curious. Just... Just do steal. Go ahead and have the Grand Appreciation Festival Platter. Are you a it's monster? Because I'd card. like to mount you. Smells <laughs> 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 like, okay, okay, oh, that, no. that's a good one. <clears throat> so we should move on to a new subject. Uh, you're all happily dating beautiful women because they're like, I'm they're pick up lines, you basically. Basically, you're... I just want a person with a great personality. That's all I want. Oh no! <laughs> oh, am, am I too honest? Oh, so not Lunastro? Okay. I I don't I don't agree with that. Actually, the whole personality thing. I think that oh, actually. Oh, that boy. You you wanna go? Okay, here, let's go. Well, it looks like I swear to God, if you cart. In my opinion, a lot of people actually have very similar personalities. Most people want to be loved. Most people are generally nice. You know, there's crazy people. But I don't. I don't Most think of that people. as a personality, though. I think <laughs> yeah. of that as like a. I think of that as like a disorder, basically. Uh, like, uh, like if you were to say, I don't want to marry. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. A tail chop, though. If you were going to say, I don't want to uh, get in a relationship with somebody who has. Uh, uh, you want to go again? Okay. Who's a sociopath or something like that? That would make sense. But like most people have vocal personalities. I used to think my life was a tragedy. Now I realize it's a fucking comedy. Now uh, I realize I'm playing Monster Hunter. Now I'm realizing GE's carting. Now I realize I'm a lance. <laughs> He's gonna cart in five. Oh, how did that four. stun me? Oh. Oh my God. How did that stun me? How the frick did that stun me? Hey, con hey game condomis. Uh, wanna arm wrestle with me? No, no, let's uh, I'll make my hand tired if I do that. I don't wanna have a tired hand right now. I got a lot of card okay. opening to do. You wanna go, Kix? Okay. Well, GE, I'm gonna oh, oh, sub because you're the max question. <laughs> He freaking stunned me when I was going for the max potion. But yeah, so so personality, um, I actually don't think that's as big of an issue in relationships as you guys ah. think it often is. It's usually that the person has Whoa. actual problems, like, uh, it's more like they have faults than, than a I nice personality, but maybe that's what you guys are looking for in the Not first what you said place. Last night. What? Beta mail? What? No what? Dodagama says, wow, top-notch therapy here. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> tell me what your troubles are, and I will give you uh, therapy. Let's hear it. Well, I'm not Why does nobody that. love me? Uh, you're ugly. Do do some push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Uh, okay, straight to the point. Straight to the point. You need to work out, and then you will get the ladies easy. And then after working out, you need to have money. I was about to say, that's a little harsh. Problem solved. <laughs> this is child abuse. <laughs> That's what they actually would Here, call you back. if I you had a teacher months. today. Who the heck, if you who the heck said Mary is alpha female in the stream? I'm alpha female. Yeah, I'm the alpha female. What are you talking about, Mary? I can't say that. Well, what do you think? Uh, I'm the alpha female. Hey, I was owner for 10 the minutes, five so therefore rat. I am more speedy. Whoa, than you. we cut the I tail was, off I was of owner for 10, You made me owner for 10 minutes. You remember that? I do remember that. Uh, Davis says, can I join your voice chat session one day? I'd love to share some opinions and talk about toxic masculinity and stuff. Yeah, definitely. This is kind of an experimental stream because in the future we might do that. We might have like a single person on as a oh guest God, or, well, or two or three people. But today I just wanted to see if the equipment actually works. That was right, the who, goal. Who wanted, to, who, who wanted to fight me? Who wanted to arm wrestle me? Uh, it's me. It's me. Bjorn. All right, let me just join this quest. No, come, come at you. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Give me a second, we're just joining. Which is your name? Oh, I wish you were the bowlers. It's Dest. It's Dest. Oh, okay. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second, I'm loading. Shanks, okay. 
G E Y right, must have thought he was the last yeah, man. Where are you? Are you this one with the lens? Are you the one eating? Who right who is using that lance? Get them out of this session. <laughs> <laughs> why are you? Why are you cheating? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Get him out. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be waiting here until I'm wrestle. I need therapy on how you know to that... not be scared of Mary again because my courage let's go, left let's me. Let's do this. I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> oh, you wanna go? You know let's, they go. Say, let's go. Why you don't mess with a lance player? It's like poking the bear. It's like Get poking. Out of it's like poking the Winnie the Pooh. You mean the Chinese president? This is, this is intense. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I was using my Eat pointer it. finger. I was using my pointer finger. Uh, that didn't count. I was using my pointer okay, finger. Okay, you wanna go again? Okay. I was using my pointer finger. Whoa. I jack off every day. This is my time. <laughs> By the way, we never heard any juicy confessions from anyone. I mean, other than uh, me talking I to off a girl that's in a relationship. I'm losing to a girl. <laughs> you're talking to a girl in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, you're losing to a 16-year-old child. Yes. Oh, Enzo, you I'm perfectly go? okay with that. Fair game. Maybe the other guy's a... Maybe he's not good enough for her. See? Gotta go oh, no, steal he's her. A dick. He's a dick? Yep, steal. Maybe... Guys are not entitled to girls. If you can take the girl away, you win. He loses. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the undefeated champion. Oh no, 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 okay. So we had, there was this guy, I think it was like, I think it was a cool siege or something. We had everyone in the gathering hub. And this was like on one of the streams. Oh my god. He went undefeated, like everyone tried to go against him, but he just was undefeated, it was insane. Oh no, my finger slipped. Oh, I still- hey, well, oh. My finger <laughs> slipped. <laughs> Likely excuse. Well, 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 that's not gonna one. hold up in court, mister. Yeah, I hate to say <laughs> Nice try. Alright, now just eat for attack. Uh. Alright, here he goes. Oh gosh. Let's see what sweaty investigations there are. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna join one. I confess I did spend <laughs> 700 this week. Oh my I gosh, checked my Alex. bank and it was 1200. What? <laughs> Hey Mary, I oh, got you were thing. talking good, to me about maybe anyway. just directly buying the card you want. I bought a lovely Sylveon Gardevoir if you're interested in it. Uh, I don't know how much I paid for it. I can't remember, but I'll look it up. And I, if you're interested in the card, God. I will send it to you oh, at, uh, at cost, basically. Uh, hey Lani, uh, I'll help you. It probably won't be expensive. It'll probably be like forty bucks or something. I'll have to look how much I paid for it though. David says, that sounds good. We need to do that someday. It'll be fun. One or more, I'd love to join. No way. worries. It's also very welcome to change to the way you make your Monster Hunter World videos. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'd always and thought we'll... that we could we could do something like this, and we hadn't done it before, and mostly that's just because I'm lazy, so I just do what's easy and what I, I'm already lazy. familiar with. He is very lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that too early. He's got he's to gotta use maximum might. Can't use too much stamina. Oh, shit. Oh, it's over here. Oof. Charge slash power. Very cool. I like how it actually tells you here. One. But yeah, so, uh, you know, we might have more streams like this in the future. They'll probably be scheduled. They won't be like every day or anything. Oh, man. Nice. Uh, okay, you're- Hey, are you a Cora Peko? Um... Because I heard you've been calling me. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot. Oh. He doesn't know what a Cora Peko is. Forgot. That's right. I'm, a. am ignorant. No, no, that's- Are you a Wade It's basically a baby, trumpet bird tire. that can call other monsters. Uh, Even if this casting oh God, ecliptic that meteor? The hell? That first quest, where he- where a pack of spawn and died with Joe, and it was the Wait, first time what? I met him. What? Yeah. Where did he cast it? He carded. He carded. He carded. <laughs> Who carded? Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I don't even Card understand what just happened. Back. And now he's regaining health? I, what the fuck? I gotta look at stream. I gotta look at stream how how he did this. I gotta look at stream uh, how, I'm just focusing how he here. fucked up this bag. I figured he was in the other area, so it wasn't going to touch me like usual, right? But uh, apparently it's like, nope, both areas. 
He said, GC, I got you now. God damn. Uh, hey? Juicy Confessions, who's got a Wait, so he ecliptic, juicy confession? Wait, he ecliptic right when you got, when he went to the area? That makes no I sense. I think he did. Oh, hey? That makes no sense. Alright, we gotta go for the tail to get rid of this poison. I don't think these guys are gonna give a juicy confession. All right. I gave well, him. I don't really have any okay, to do that. Okay, we can stream. Uh, hey, monetized. Down. What? I I'm a pretty good boy. I'm a pretty good boy. Mm hmm. I want to be a real boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I am the Senate. Don't be a meanie. Jedi. G E Beta I for not knowing what a crow is. Oh god. <laughs> Poor Apeko. <laughs> oh no, Poor everybody Apeko. is going to blast Hit me up you. on Discord if you're interested. Right, I'm sure right, my let's stories. hit it. Let's hit, let's I read, you, I read your message, you, David. You won't know what it, oh, where's he putting the boulder um, down? Do you know what a light the guy Chris is? I do know that one, actually. I fought one. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about... Did you just... Shot him. Wait, was I on the Mom wrong side of the him. comment? I was reading. Oh my god. I was reading. I never got a comments. <laughs> I was uh, uh, reading Lani, comments. Uh, the Wyvern Blast counter you should uh, use when a monster is actually uh, attacking. Cringe. I can't believe I died earlier, too. What the? <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? Hello there. Hello. Hello. Bruh, br uh, uh. it was my fault. The, when he got the ecliptic meteor. The first time, the, the second time, sorry. I clutch clawed him. I followed him. I did the clutch claw attack. Then he casted a, a comet. Oh, that sucks. Meteor. I thought I thought he just knock you off like automatically if he did the if he was doing a clip to beat her while you're clutch clawed, but I guess not. Wow. So what did you guys think of being in the party and people can hear us talk and have a conversation? Great. I it's, liked it. It's it, was fun. Real, it was real fun. It was real it, fun. In the Bruh. future, what would you Definitely like to see? Definitely caught me off guard. What would you like to see in the future? If we had people on, what would you want to talk about? Uh, uh, just Maybe put a pair some questions. Could be fun. I don't know. Some questions ahead of time. How old is the game Conomist? Oh, I'm 30. 30. You guys already know that one. I'm an old man. When will GE do a face reveal? Well, I, I thought I, On my card channel, I did an accidental face reveal, but I don't think anyone got any uh, pictures of it, and I took it down. Nah, we got it. I think I have self, someone has a picture. It's um, not a very good GE picture, though. I have a picture. It's not a very We're, good picture. No, you, you did a legit reflect face reveal on Discord once. Remember that? Oh, I did, yes, of course. Oh, I did, yes. Yeah, so for those of you who are maybe fans uh, of the channel, uh, when we hit... What was it? 69,420 subs. I did do a face reveal in the Xbox nice. chat. And 69. I guess nobody nice. cared that much, so I just screenshot haven't done it again. Yeah, I know. We just didn't screenshot. I know, right? It's kind of weird because it was like a video and I just left it up. I'm like, well, there you go. Now you know how I look. Probably not a bobe. What? I'm reading you guys' comments. Yeah, so, okay. So, and in the future, um, hmm. <sighs> We should do a new challenge for Discord besides the Guild Palace Safi one. Because I'm not sure a lot of people are going to attempt that. Oh, well, then a lot of people aren't going to make money. <laughs> uh, there was a first place prize and a second place prize on that. Uh, and the reason that well, I mean, it would be. Th there's a reason no one does it. Because we all know Dave is going to come in here and just steal it immediately. Yeah. Like that's he a, always does. That's an interesting issue. So you're saying. There's no point in competing because uh, you you guys couldn't possibly play as well as him, or was exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's PS4. He has safe scum, and he's like a speedrunner, so it's really it's kind of hard to hard to face that, especially with if you're on Xbox. I see. Would it help maybe if I did an announcement? Maybe more people would be drawn toward toward it. The uh... well, you've done them before, and just people didn't really. I I know you've done it before. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, so I noticed this as well. A lot of the times when I post a tournament, Diva turns in a run, and usually like nobody else participated. And that's a problem because it's not as fun if there's only one run that's been turned in. Um, but how do I get around the fact that you guys all feel like you're going to lose? I can't really fix that. You guys Diva's, no lo all Diva's, no lo Diva's no longer allowed to play. 100%. <laughs> Damn, listen to <laughs> you guys. Sure. Nerf Diva. Diva. He was not allowed to play. Bring back, hashtag bring back. Have a force. set armor. 
like set armor and weapons to use. That's what's happened with the Guild Palace one. David says, for for the future, if you do this again, I'd love to talk about personal questions, the meta in world, weapon changes, whatever you feel like really? talking about. Nice. That, that yeah. should have like. Yeah. Made I, it I would do it again, David. It's a weird glitch. You can't clutch. You can't um flinch at them into a wall while they're flying. You can't do that. Who can't you flinch? It either has to, um any monsters into a, if they're. Oh, sorry. You need to claw fake. their face. <clears throat> So they yeah, go down no. lower and then just shoot it. No, okay, no. So what happened? To, what happened was he, well, Extrata, clutch claw gold That was and me. I was into. Yeah. Oh, okay, into. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Um, try to clutch claw him or her. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to assume your gender, gold Rathian. Um, try to, because you can't flinch out a monster. I think it's just a glitch with the game's code that it tries to like flinch out both, because it's because you know if they're in the air, just default. <laughs> They'll fall down, no matter where they are. But if you're, they're on the ground and you shoot them into a wall, you have to shoot them into a wall for them to knock over. But so what happened there is you try to do it to it, the game tried to render it both at the same time, so it didn't know what to do. What? I'd assume that's what happened. No, I think Weird. it's because it was way too high. That's what. No, I it doesn't matter the height. It doesn't matter the height. Hmm. It's weird. I've noticed it. Okay. I'm a professional, and I say that the problem is that you guys didn't leave me enough likes on the live stream. This is he's the a real professional. Problem. Yeah, he's a prof professional, everybody. <laughs> I'm a professional. That's how. Was I that a joke? To ecliptic meteor, still. All right, guys. So we're at the two-hour mark. That means I jump over to my other channel, where we open up literally thousands of dollars of Pokemon cards at this point, because that actually does happen. And uh, thank you, everyone, in the party chat for hopping on and saying hi. That was entertaining. No problem. We got to think of a way to make it really, uh, I think, a little more structured and uh, so that it gets maximum entertainment, right? Uh, but we're Invite going to... everyone. Yeah, I know, right? We're... Invite everyone. Maybe. I think that would make it so disorganized. And then somebody will troll or something. Like, it would be super annoying. So we'll definitely do it again in the future sometime, but not right away. And I'm going to pop over to my other live stream and open some cards now. I'll leave a link to that in the chat room when it's ready to go. In the meantime, my mic will be muted, okay? So thank you, everyone, for playing. Uh, okay. You guys can keep uh, talking oh, in the bye -bye. chat if you want. And talking about how great I am. But I'm going to go get the other stream started. Yeah, the started. FBI was okay? at my house. I'm sorry that I carded. Bruh. Hello, chat. Well, I guess it is we're one for one. <laughs> Wait, I wonder. Can stream can stream chat still hear us? Uh, probably. Hey chat. I'm pretty sure everyone subscribed. You guys hear me? Black out on YouTube. <laughs> please help me. The game economist has me as gun at at gunpoint. Please and uh, send help. Help! 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 He doesn't pay us on Discord. Please. Please. Discord. Red's on Discord. Ransom is at the United <laughs> Bro, States. That's dead. Great. Yeah, he doesn't pay us on Discord F in the chat. Well, I'm locked in his basement, so... Oh. You, you guys have it better. So you're the one that's been causing issues with the internet. It all makes sense now. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I need food, okay? I need sustenance. I need to survive, too. He doesn't... You can't eat Wi-Fi. You can stop chewing on the wires. It don't work that way. But I need something. Uh, hey kids, let's see you want what... some free zenny? You want some free zenny? He's trying my to lure back. all the kids. Oh. <laughs> well, I have already way too much zenny, so no thank you, sir. Uh... <clears throat> Temper ruiner. Oh, I like his fight. He's oh, nice. oh, oh, uh, uh, crap! The FBI's at my house. Uh, 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 uh. What do I do? What I do? <laughs> oh no, he found property. you. I gotta go. The game economist the found you. My property. Um. Uh, I, I think he got him, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let me go take the dog out before he drives me crazy. Y'all take it easy. Okay. Later. Bye, dude. Bye bye. Hello. 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 
He's saying the herd. Saying He's the catching herd. us one by one. Everyone secretly just left. I don't think it's a coincidence. So, yeah. Bruh. I'm surprised Des left. Yeah, okay, I'm joining you. Alright. Um, I think he forgot to mute his mic. Are you talking about game cons? Yeah. Uh, did he? Yeah, yeah, I can hear him. I'm not really talking, but I, I can hear things bumping into his room. I don't know. That's right. Yeah, I've been hearing it too. Oh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> A scoop into game economist life. Why is it so taking so long for me to load? It's console. It's gonna take forever. No, but it 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 takes a lot less time for me usually. Oh, okay. GC slacking. I guess so. We're getting mute as mic too. It had to drop oh. me off right here in front um, of him. Hello. Hello. Uh where's the hot pepper? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> hot drinks. Oops. Um, I can give you one right here if you come to me. Give Is that how this works? Two. Yeah, here. Go up to oh. Mm-hmm. Be honest with you, I didn't know that it worked like that. <laughs> you can give, uh, I think Rarity 7 and up. But most items you can give, like Mega Potions, Honey, and that kind of stuff. Alrighty, alrighty, I am back. So, we have the... Oh, <laughs> where's my mouse? Here it is. We have the other live stream oh, yeah, set up. It took funny. me a little while longer because uh, I received a bunch of mail and should... I had to go through it. And Somebody I had to should pick probably... Out uh, some pretty heavy booster yeah, boxes and all probably. that. I'm going to go ahead and get the next live stream linked into the chat us. for you guys. Give me a moment. Oh man, that tier list video is doing so good. 23,000 views already. That's pretty good. Okay, so here's the link. Let me send you guys the link now. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the link to the Pokemon card stream. We'll be starting that in like a minute, basically. Charge, really? Like basically as soon as I shut this live stream Which down. Which parts are you aiming for? Let me share the link in my Discord channel. I'm trying fast. to go for the wings. Okay, I'm gonna go for the tail. 
He just moves around so much. Yeah. All right. Can you tenderize the wings? I don't know if you can. I have two discords now. What? I know you can break the horns off of them. Two discord servers? How many of my... all these discord servers? Uh, he, he can't even hear me. Why did I say hello? Okay. And now I'm ready to end the stream. Ooh, all right, down. I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you over yep, on my I'm other on YouTube wing. channel. See you guys later. Don't die. And you're done.